Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. I am the living devil, and the empress advises me to calm down. Chapter 21 Baltu glanced at the fat man. Gong Yibu, have you had too many good days and your brain has gone bad? Is there such a good thing in the world? The fat man is the contemporary Iron Hat King, Gong Yibu, Prince Rui Kechen. As an Iron Hat King, Gong Yibu is younger than him, so Baltu calls Gong Yibu quite casually. Gong Yibu smiled and rubbed his hands. Then I certainly don't believe it. But Yang Yi is very busy in the capital now. I don't know how many people know that the business in the hands of this great Zhou Envoy can make money. As long as you invest money, don't worry about anything, and soon you will have extra money in your hands. I heard that the return is amazing. Baltu was a little curious. He is old and has seen a lot in his life, but he has never heard of such a great thing. He pondered, what's the matter, tell me in detail. Gong Yibu smiled, this Yang Yi claims that his business can allow everyone to participate. Everyone can invest money, and if the money invested makes money, you will be given dividends according to the proportion of your investment. For example, if you invest 10 tails of silver and choose to invest with him for 10 days, you can get 11 tails of silver after 10 days. If you invest for half a month, you can get 12 tails of silver, if you invest for a month, you can get 15 tails of silver, if you invest for a year, you can get 100 tails of silver after a year. Baltu took a breath and widened his eyes. How, how is this possible? After a year, it can be 10 times. Impossible, I have never heard of such a profitable business in my life. Gong Yibu laughed. I don't believe it either. But now everyone in the capital is watching. Isn't he the envoy of the great Joe? He can't run away so quickly. Many people have invested some money to see what Yang Yi is up to. Anyway, we can get 10% interest in 10 days, so we can wait. Bertu smacked his lips, feeling a little tempted. Then you all keep an eye on it. If the money is really returned, you have to call me. Gong Yibu patted his chest. Don't worry, we iron-hatted kings all go in and out together. Seven days later, the sun was high in the sky, and there were no clouds in the sky. The capital of the Qing dynasty was more lively than ever before. People in the streets and alleys began to talk about it. What they were discussing was the hottest business recently, called bonds. It was said that this was a business brought by the envoy of the great Zhou, and it was very profitable. Hey, do you know that it is said that as long as you buy bonds, you can just sit and wait to receive the money? Impossible, absolutely impossible, how can there be such a good thing in the world? Yeah, I don't believe it either. The son of my sister-in-law's brother bought ten tails of bonds. I heard that he can withdraw the money tomorrow. I want to go and see. Yeah, I bought it too. I heard that you can make a 10% profit in 10 days, and a tenfold profit in a year. Hiss, is it true? If I invest 1,000 tails, I will get 10,000 tails back in a year. Yeah, that's what the envoy of the great Joe said. After all, he is an envoy of a country and can't lie, right? Anyway, I'll pay you tomorrow, let's go check it out tomorrow. Quote dot 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 quote. Such conversations can be heard everywhere in the streets and alleys. With the navy that Yang Yi bought specially for publicity, his Yang's bonds gradually caused a stir in the capital of the Qing dynasty. One day later, the large courtyard where Yang Yi lived. It was surrounded by people who came to exchange money and watch the excitement. Although Qianlong was a little shameless, he still had to save face. The courtyard where Yang Yi lived was large enough to accommodate these people. Yang Yi also specially found Qing Dynasty's Yaman runners to maintain order. Under the watchful eyes of the public, a young man walked up to Yang Yi with a Ten Liang bond. Yang Yi took out the account book and checked the information, and finally took out eleven Liang of silver with a smile on his face. This is your interest plus principle, take it. The people queuing around saw this scene, and they immediately took a breath of cold air, and their eyes became hot. They really gave money. The Yaman runners who came to maintain order also gasped and were stunned. They had come with the mentality of watching the fun. They didn't expect to really give money. Looking at the white silver, they couldn't help but beat their chests and stamp their feet. Missed a chance to make money. I wonder if the envoy of the Great Joe will issue bonds again. The young man was also surprised, and he took the eleven tails with some excitement. 
Although it was only one tail more, it was only 10 days. How many people can make one tail in 10 days? Besides, he only invested 10 tails, but he didn't do anything. If he had invested 100 tails at the beginning, wouldn't he have made 10 tails now? He immediately regretted it and said quickly, I, I want to buy more bonds, I want to invest another 100 tails. Yang Yi looked serious and shook his head. Our bonds can only be purchased once a month. You have already purchased them once. If you want to buy them again, wait until next time. What? The young man was shocked. Why, why? Yang Yi pointed to the people behind him with fiery eyes, and a devilish smile curved up at the corner of his mouth. There are still many people who want to make money. We have no shortage of customers for our bonds. Such an easy opportunity to make money should be shared with others. We are facing the entire Qing dynasty, not just you. If you want to make more, you have to invest more and invest for a long time. His words made the young man lose his soul. At the beginning, he was afraid of being cheated, just holding the mentality of trying, but he didn't expect to really make money. But this bond can only be bought once a month by a person. He regretted it so much. I didn't buy more at the beginning, and bought it for a longer time. He couldn't help but use force in his hand, and the eleven tails of silver he held made his hand hurt, as if he was laughing at his cowardice. Just when he was about to leave in a daze, the young and handsome envoy of the great Joe seemed to talk to him, and seemed to talk to himself. If one person buys once, there are still brothers and sisters, parents and relatives, right? The young man suddenly had an epiphany, and his face flushed with excitement. Yes, although he can only buy once. But his father can buy it again this month. Go back and take out his father's coffin book, buy a lot, and they will make a fortune. The throne room. Oh, bond business. You can make money as long as you invest money. Qianlong looked at Fu Cha Fu Hang in front of him with a surprised look. Fu Hang, is this true or false? Fu Cha Fu Hang pondered for a moment. It sounds like it's false, but I asked someone to buy some, and they actually exchanged it for money. Qianlong's eyes flashed with a trace of astonishment. He touched his beard. It's weird. Yang Yi came all the way to the capital of the Qing dynasty, and he actually brought a profitable business. Didn't he come to discuss the marriage on behalf of the empress? How did it inexplicably become like this? Fu Cha Fu Hang remained silent. Qianlong thought about it and always felt a little weird. A trace of sharpness flashed in his eyes. No matter what, just keep an eye on him and see what kind of storm he can stir up. Fu Cha Fu Hang nodded slightly. Yang Yi's behavior was a bit strange, but they couldn't see any problems for a while. Prince Kang's mansion. What? Did they really give money? Prince Kong Baltu was confused. He never thought that Yang Yi's bonds would really pay money as he said. 10% interest every 10 days. This is not the kind of usury. Is this guy a money-giving boy? Prince Rui Kechen Gong Yibu smiled and sighed. Yes, he really gave money. And it is said that there is a quota limit for buying bonds now. One person can only buy once a month. Now many people who buy less are regretting it. Baltu was a little moved. Although he has a big family, who can refuse this free money? He glanced at the fat man in front of him. Gong Yibu, did you buy it? Gong Yibu touched his chin. I plan to take a look. As you said, there is no such good thing in the world. 10% interest for 10 days, and 10 times the principal and interest for one year. Unless he is the god of wealth, even the richest man can't play like this. If we can really make money, let's buy it. Baltu nodded. He thought so too. Let's wait and see. If we can really make money, he will buy it. Tang Dynasty. Interesting, interesting. Li Shimin looked at the information in his hand and fell into deep thought. Fang Xuanling, Cheng Sun Wuji and others on the side were also at a loss. For a long time, what is this person doing? What conspiracy does he have? Cheng Sun Wuji touched his beard, and a trace of doubt flashed in his narrow eyes. Fang Xuanling shook his head and sighed when he heard it. I am old, but I can't even see through what a young boy wants to do. Du Ruhui smiled bitterly. If even you can't see through it, let's not talk about it. Yang Yi's behavior is strange and unpredictable, making people unpredictable. Li Shimin nodded in agreement. That's right. Qianlong sent a letter of credence to the great Zhou to provoke, but the Empress of Zhou acted as if nothing had happened and said nothing. 
Yang Yi is even more strange. He actually took the initiative to go to the Qing Kingdom as an envoy. With his character of using poisonous schemes before, how could this person tolerate Qianlong's provocations so easily? And the most surprising thing is that the first thing he did when he went to the capital of the Qing Kingdom was to do business. I can't guess what he was thinking at all. Cheng Sun Wuji said in a deep voice. No matter what, his bond business is weird. We can see it, and people in the Qing Kingdom should be able to see it. Although Emperor Qianlong is arrogant, he can see the weirdness of Yang Yi's behavior. Under Qianlong's nose, he did such a weird thing. Isn't he afraid that Qianlong will take him down directly? Fang Xuanling and others looked at each other. After a while, Du Ruhui smiled bitterly and said, This is what makes people unpredictable. If you say he is plotting, he is still in someone else's territory. If the matter is exposed, he will be caught directly. If you say he is not plotting, his behavior is weird everywhere, which makes people wonder. Everyone in the hall frowned and thought hard. Li Shimin glanced at everyone and sighed in his heart. His ministers in the Tang dynasty are all first-class ministers and generals in the world. As a result, they gathered together and couldn't even guess what Yang Yi would do next. Yang Yi is really terrible, Li Shimin said with some emotion. Let's not talk about his weird behavior, just talk about his bond business. I heard that as long as you buy for 10 days, you can get 10% interest, and if you buy for a year, you can get 10 times the principal and interest. In this case, isn't it just a boy who gives away money? How does he make money? Cheng Sun Wuji and others looked at each other. They all shook their heads. Who could know this? This kid is so weird. Dokken. In Zongtai Palace. A man with a stern face and wearing a black wide-sleeved dragon robe looked at the information in front of him and narrowed his eyes. Interesting. Continue to send people to keep a close eye on the movements of Qing. Yes, your majesty. The guards next to him retreated quietly. Ying Zheng held the information just now and fell into deep thought. After he ended the internal disputes in Qin, he quickly set his sights on all countries in the world. Unifying the whole world is his lifelong goal and wish. So he has been sending his men to pay attention to the movements of various countries. This time, Yang Yi made a lot of noise and was noticed by him. Especially Yang Yi's various unreasonable actions in Qing, which made him puzzled. The palace was quiet for a long time. Ying Zheng murmured, It's been a long time since I met such interesting things and people. Even I can't see through this person. This person is a great talent. Ming Dynasty. Oh, our neighbor is causing trouble again. The old man with gray hair but still upright body had sharp eyes. In front of him, Mao Shang couldn't help but lower his head to avoid the sharp eyes. Zhu Yuanzhong looked at the note in his hand. His eyes, which had been ups and downs in the battlefield and officialdom for decades, could not see through the meaning behind these handwriting. Bonds. Zhu Yuanzhong touched his chin and frowned, why can't I understand it? He thought for a while, still couldn't figure it out, and then said. Keep letting Jin Yue keep an eye on it. I don't believe that the person who can solve the grain price in Hangzhou will do it without a purpose. Mao Shang whispered, Yes, your majesty. Da Zhou dynasty. Waner, what do you think he wants to do? Wu Zhao frowned, he swore to me that he would take money from the Qing people, but now he is giving money to the Qing people. I don't understand his plan, nor do I understand his purpose. Shang Wan Waner pondered for a while and couldn't help shaking her head. Waner can't figure it out either. Lord Yang is unrestrained and often unexpected and reckless. Only when his plan is over can we suddenly realize it. Now, it's really hard to guess. Wu Zhao sighed and put down the information in her hand. She put her hands behind her back, walked to the window, looked at the clear sky outside, and couldn't help whispering. I know he must be trying to get something out of the fire this time, so I'm so confused. His plan is hard to see through. If you are outside the plan, it's okay, but he is in the capital of the Qing dynasty. Once it is exposed, he won't even have a chance to escape. Shang Wan Waner's rosy lips curled up. Your Majesty, don't worry about Lord Yang. Lord Yang is such a cunning person, how could he not leave a way out for himself? Wu Zhao nodded subconsciously. That's true. Suddenly, she reacted and glared at Shang Wan Waner. I am worried about him, just the friendship between the monarch and the minister. Shang Wan Waner looked innocent. She didn't say anything. 
Qing Dynasty. Capital. Those who want to buy bonds should line up. Come one by one. Don't be in a hurry. Register your information first. A soldier said in a deep voice. Outside the yard, a long queue was formed, winding for hundreds of meters. These Qing people were looking forward to it, holding money bags in their hands, looking forward to it. Inside the house, Yang Yi looked at the scene with a smile on his face and smiled faintly. Send someone to spread the news that the bonds make money, the farther the better. The guard next to him said respectfully, Yes, sir. After that, the guard retreated. Yang Yi touched his chin and said to Li Kunxiao and Dian Wei. Have you bought the souvenirs and specialties I asked you to buy? Li Kunxiao nodded. My lord, they are all ready. Dian Wei scratched his head. My lord, what is the use of buying these souvenirs? Yang Yi smiled. Of course it is useful. One month later, Yang Yi's bonds were redeemed again. Outside the yard, 1,000 tails of bonds were deposited for one month. Now the interest plus the principal is a total of 1,500 tails of silver. Please keep it. A big Zhou guard counted the money and handed it to the Qing citizen in front of him. The Qing citizen was a middle-aged woman. She trembled as soon as she took the money. In just one month, he actually made 500 tails. This is worse than usury. Even doing business is not so profitable. The people queuing behind were in a commotion. They looked at the thick package greedily, and their hearts were beating fast. Crazy. It's crazy. This is faster than robbing money. The next day, the news that 1,000 tails were deposited for one month and 1,500 tails were earned again shocked the capital. This time, not only those people with a good family background, but also some wealthy businessmen could not sit still. Brother Lu, are you also going to buy bonds? Yes, yes, you too. Yes, buying bonds is much faster than doing business, of course I have to buy. But I heard from others that there might be something wrong with these bonds. What could be wrong? Didn't everyone get the money? My second aunt's child invested a full 500 tails, and this time he got 750 tails, making a fortune. Hiss, it's simply robbing money. Yes, let's buy it quickly, if you are afraid, then at most you can buy less. No, I even mortgaged my house, this time I want to buy 5,000 tails, buy it for a year. Quote dot 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 quote. There are certainly many smart people in the huge capital. Many people feel that there is something wrong with Yang Yi's bonds, so they wait and see. But with waves of, getting rich, one after another, even the smartest people are jealous. This time, even many rich people have joined in. Wang Fu. Prince Kong. This time, we can also go and buy. Gong Yibu looked greedy, I have secretly asked people to buy several times, and there are no problems. Yang Yi has been here for almost two months. If there is a problem, wouldn't it have happened long ago? Prince Kong Baltu couldn't sit still at this time. He gritted his teeth, but I always feel that there is no such good thing in this world. Gong Yibu slapped his thigh, Prince Kong, even if he has a problem, so what? Let's buy short term, buy a month, I don't believe he can run away. Baltu's turbid eyes revealed a trace of greed, panting, obviously already tempted. Gong Yibu touched his chin. I heard that Prince Fu invested 10,000 tails last time and made 5,000 tails. Baltu's chest rose and fell, and his eyes showed a strong greed. Then let's buy for a month, this time we will buy a big one. Gong Yibu smiled. I have prepared 200,000 tails it will become 300,000 tails in a month. Bertu's eyes showed a gambler's viciousness. It's been two months since he was fine. I bet that he won't be in trouble in another month. I'll take 400,000. Gong Yibu took a breath. Even for a prince, 400,000 tails is not a small amount. This time, Prince Kong wants to make a lot of money. The two discussed again. An hour later, Gong Yibu left. At this time, it was late. Night fell. Dark clouds gradually floated up, and the moonlight faded away. The dark night was like an invisible giant net covering the entire capital. The whole capital fell into silent darkness and death. Although it was late at night, the huge Qing Imperial Palace was still brightly lit, as bright as day. In the Golden Palace, red candles were burning, and the red candle oil was flowing slowly. In the main hall, Qianlong was wrapped in a yellow-brown dragon robe, with a trace of greed in his eyes. Prince Zheng and Prince Su are all dead. 
Humph, Prince Rui runs to Prince Kong all day, and he probably can't sit still. Fu Chia Fuang nodded. Prince Rui has indeed been running hard these days. Qianlong showed a trace of disdain at the corner of his mouth. This Prince Rui is greedy and timid, and he has to drag others with him before he dares to go up. He is really a fool. Fu Chia Fuang remained silent. What Qianlong could say, he couldn't say. Qianlong didn't care too much, he looked at Fu Chia Fuang. It's been more than two months. What do you think Yang Yi is planning? He has been arguing with the people in the Ministry of Rights about the marriage recently. He has never given a definite answer. He has no intention of getting married. Instead, he is trying to show off his business. Do you think his business is weird? Fu Chia Fuang glanced at Qianlong strangely. As Qianlong's confidant, he knew Qianlong too well. This emperor has always been stubborn and self-righteous. Why would he ask him? It's just that he was moved, so he found someone and hoped that the other party would agree with his idea. Fu Chia Fuang was silent for a while and said slowly, I don't know, but there are many people who have made money during this period. Qianlong raised his eyebrows, and his slightly turbid eyes revealed greed under the reflection of the light. What do you think if I also invest hundreds of thousands of tails? Fu Chia Fuang thought to himself that it was true. He hesitated for a while and then said, I am a stupid minister. Qianlong shook his head in disappointment. Fuang, you are too timid. What if I invest a few hundred thousand tails? This guy is in my territory. Even if there is a problem with this business, can he still run away? Fu Chia Fuang was stunned, thinking that what the emperor said made sense, and said immediately. Your majesty is wise. Seeing that his think tank had no intention of objecting, Qianlong smiled and touched his chin. I will also invest 500,000 tails and withdraw from my private treasury. It's a pity, if it weren't for the bad reputation, he really wanted to detain Yang Yi here and swallow all the money. However, this would inevitably anger the people who have already invested money. Therefore, it is best for him to invest money to be safe. After a month, he can get 750,000 tails. Even if there is a thunderstorm, he can keep Yang Yi here. No matter how he calculates it, he will not lose. Three days later, Villa, Sir Yang, more and more people are buying bonds these days. This month alone, the total value of the gold, silver, and jewelry we have is more than 3 million tails. Today, someone invested 500,000 tails, dot all of which were pledged with famous paintings and antiques. A guard said respectfully with an account book. Yang Yi raised his eyebrows, and his handsome face looked elegant under the refraction of the light. He smiled, except for those powerful people, no one else can take out these famous paintings and calligraphy. In addition to gold, silver, and jewelry, the bonds he sells here can also be mortgaged with other valuable antiques and calligraphy and paintings. Of course, things like house deeds and land deeds are not accepted. Let them go to other places to mortgage and exchange money, and then buy bonds. After all, things like house deeds and land deeds are useless when they run away. Yang Yi touched his chin. Have you found out everything I asked you to find out recently? A guard next to him said, reporting to the adults, we have found out that in 10 days, most officials will attend the birthday banquet of the eldest prince of the Qing dynasty. Yang Yi nodded slightly, with a smile on his face. Then we will withdraw in 10 days. These people are greedy for his interest, but they don't know that he is greedy for their principle. Ten days later, the birthday banquet of Qianlong's eldest son Exenweiluo Yangwang was grandly organized and all the civil and military officials were invited. As the eldest son of Qianlong, he was not favored, so his position was not stable. This banquet was also a means for him to win over the court officials. Whether he was close to the court officials or not could be seen from this banquet. As the envoy of the great Zhou, Yang Yi, who was in the limelight recently, was of course invited. The great Zhou envoy's courtyard. In one hour, when it gets dark, we will set off. Yang Yi looked calm, with a firm look in his eyes. Everyone saluted, yes, sir. Yang Yi nodded slightly, his eyes fell not far away. A man of similar height and dress to him. At first glance, this man was 90% similar to him. Yang Yi nodded with satisfaction. In the past few days, he used the makeup skills exchanged by the system to personally change the appearance of this dead soldier. 
This dead soldier was brought by him from the great Joe, and his height and weight were close to his. Now it came in handy. As long as he was not particularly familiar with him, he would not notice anything wrong. An hour later, night fell, the residence of the eldest prince, under the watchful eyes of the public. The great Zhou envoy, Yang Yi, arrived with gifts. On the other side, at the Beijing dock, ten large cargo ships were moving slowly. Stop, what are you doing? When arriving at the checkpoint, a Qing soldier stopped the cargo ships for routine inspection. On the cargo ship, Li Kunxiao raised the token given to Yang Yi by Qianlong expressionlessly. The Qing soldier's face changed, and then he bowed his head respectfully and retreated. Don't blame me, sir. He waved to the person next to him. Let them go. After a while, the ten cargo ships with the Qing royal family mark slowly left the capital. On the last cargo ship, Yang Yi, dressed in a black robe, looked at the increasingly distant capital, with a smile on his lips. A bird flying high dies because of greed, a fish in a deep pool dies because of the delicious bait. Greed, stubbornness and profit are the root causes of destroying a country and killing oneself. The next day, the great Zhou envoy's courtyard, Zhang Lei came with his master's money bag to buy bonds. He was a servant in Prince Rui's family. This time, he came to buy some more bonds at the suggestion of his master. Although one person can only buy once, it is not difficult for these dignitaries to buy bonds with other people's identities. As soon as Zhang Lei arrived outside the courtyard, he saw a large group of people gathered here. Hey, why is the door not open today? I don't know. I heard that the great Zhou envoy should have gone to the banquet of the great prince yesterday. Maybe he was drunk, so the door opened later today. Makes sense, then we will come again in the afternoon. It's not open. I brought a lot of money here today. Yes, now I have to leave first. Quote dot 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 quote. Zhang Lei asked around and felt something was wrong. This great Zhou envoy basically does not show up on weekdays. Even if he was delayed by something, could his subordinates also have something wrong? However, the courtyard was closed, and he had no choice but to stay here. Half a day later, outside the courtyard, more and more people gathered. Many people surrounded the courtyard, still excitedly discussing how much money they would make from the bonds they bought. Tisk tisk, it turns out to be Brother Lu, I bought nearly 3,000 tails of bonds, and bought it for a month. It's only been a month, I bought 5,000 tails for a year, and by next year, I will have made a full 50,000 tails. I really envy you, I can't afford so much money here. Oh, we have emptied our family's pockets, and there are not many opportunities to make money. We must seize this time. Why is this courtyard still closed? There has been no movement for a day. Will something happen? No, don't scare me. Quote dot 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 quote. It was almost dusk at this time, and the red clouds covered the sky. Although everyone was a little anxious, there were still many laughters. Two hours later, night fell, the sky was dotted with stars, and the lonely moon was hanging high. The faces of the people outside the courtyard became a little ugly. Many of them were ready to buy bonds, and some had already bought them and brought their relatives and friends to buy them. At this time, they saw that Yang Yi's courtyard had not been open for a whole day. Even with such a big commotion here, no servant came to greet them. Such a strange scene cast a shadow on everyone's heart. Could it be that he ran away? Someone in the crowd said this. The atmosphere suddenly became heavy. Zhang Lei swallowed his saliva, and cold sweat dripped down his forehead. He was his master who invested nearly hundreds of thousands of tails in bonds. If something went wrong, thinking of the consequences, Zhang Lei couldn't help shuddering. Everyone gradually became anxious. Suddenly, someone said, There is no movement behind this door, why don't we go in and take a look? As soon as he finished speaking, everyone nodded in agreement. Although it was not right to break into the courtyard, it was related to their entire family property. Yang Yi did not make any movement, which really made them feel uneasy. Even so, no one took action. After all, it was illegal to break into a private house. Besides, this courtyard was the residence of the envoy. Seeing that everyone did not dare to take action, Zhang Lei gritted his teeth and gently pushed the door. He did not have time to waste here. If something really happened, Prince Rui would not forgive him. In the astonished eyes of everyone, 
the door seemed to be unlocked and was gently pushed open, revealing the empty courtyard inside. Zhang Lei's heart skipped a beat. The door was not locked. He rushed in and took a closer look, and almost fainted. Not only the courtyard, but even the door in the house was not closed. It was empty inside, with nothing. These envoys of the Great Zhou ran away. The people behind him also came in at this time. Seeing this scene, the courtyard suddenly became quiet. Everyone's breathing became rapid. Zhang Lei looked back and was immediately shocked. Everyone's eyes were red, like a volcano about to erupt. There was silence for three breaths. Someone's voice was hoarse, with great despair. He ran away. His words were like sparks in a powder keg, which immediately set off the whole place. The place was boiling. Run away. My money. Impossible. How could they run away? How could they run away? What's going on? Where are the bonds? Where is my money? That's my father's coffin. They all ran away. Report to the police. Quote dot 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 quote. For a while, countless people seemed to be crazy. You know, this bond is related to all their wealth. Zhang Lei's head was also buzzing. His eyes went dark. Did Yang Yi really run away? As far as he knew, in addition to his master, Prince Rui, other princes such as Prince Kong, Prince Zheng, and Prince Su all invested hundreds of thousands of tails. Now Yang Yi ran away, it was like the sky was falling. The Imperial Palace, the Golden Palace, Fu Fuang hurried in. Your Majesty, something bad has happened. Qianlong was stunned, stopped writing in surprise, and looked at his confidant minister. Fu Fuang had been with him for decades and had never seen him lose his composure like this. What happened? He comforted. Fuang, what's wrong? If you have something to say, please talk slowly. Fu Fuang lifted his wide sleeves and wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Your Majesty, Yang Yi ran away. Click. The brush in Qianlong's hand fell on the copybook on the table, dipped in a large piece of ink, and ruined the copybook he had just written. But at this moment, he had no time to care. Qianlong's eyes almost popped out. His hair was numb, his face was incredulous, and his voice was almost distorted. Run away. Fu Fuang's back was covered in cold sweat. He gritted his teeth and nodded. Today, the people who went to buy bonds found that the courtyard was not open, and then someone pushed the door open and found that it was empty. They must have run away this morning. Qianlong's eyes went dark, and he stumbled and almost fell. Fu Fuang hurriedly stepped forward to support Qianlong. Qianlong didn't care about his manners, his eyes were red, and he almost roared. Quick, mobilize troops, and block all the roads out of the capital for me. Fu Fuang hurriedly said. Your Majesty, I have asked people to block the roads before I came to the palace. Don't worry, they have so many supplies, and they will never pass our checkpoints so easily. Qianlong's mood stabilized a lot under Fu Fuang's comfort. Fu Fuang was right. Yang Yi and so many people, how could they run away? Just then, a tall man in a dark purple official robe ran in hurriedly. Your Majesty, Master Fuang. The news from the dock in the capital is that someone left the capital by water last night with your majesty's token. Token, Fu Fuang was stunned and looked at Qianlong in surprise. Qianlong's eyes went dark. He suddenly remembered that Yang Yi had promised him what souvenirs to buy and boasted about the vast land and rich resources of the capital. As a result, he was so happy that he gave him some cargo ships and a token for travel. Later, Yang Yi, this fool, started a bond business in the capital, and he forgot about it. Who would have thought that this guy would use his token to run away? Qianlong was holding his breath in his chest, unable to get up or down. He covered his chest, furious to the extreme. Asshole, what a fool. Qianlong glared at the official who had just walked in. Nianchen, didn't I ask you to keep an eye on the people of Dajo? Nianchen also looked aggrieved. Your Majesty, my people have been keeping an eye on them. These great Joe envoys were still buying souvenirs on the street until yesterday. We were fooled. They pretended to buy things and secretly ran away by boat last night. Da da da. Another round of hurried footsteps sounded. Your Majesty. A panicked voice sounded, and a man in official robes ran in hurriedly. Your Majesty, there is a turmoil in the capital, and thousands of people have gathered at the gate of the government office to ask for their money. Qianlong almost spit out a mouthful of blood. Go to Yang Yi to get the money he cheated. 
Why the hell are you looking for the government? Your Majesty. An old voice suddenly sounded. Everyone looked back. I saw Prince Kong running over with a group of princes with pale faces. Your Majesty, Yang Yi ran away and took away nearly one million of our property. You have to make a decision for us. Qian Long's eyes went dark, a mouthful of blood spurted out, and he fainted completely. The people around him exclaimed, Your Majesty. The news of Yang Yi's escape swept the whole capital. All the people who bought bonds ran to the government office. There were more than 10,000 people surrounding the government office in the capital. The officials in the government office were sweating profusely. If this one goes wrong, it will be a mutiny. Once something goes wrong, they will have to take off their official hats. It's over, it's over, I invested all my wealth. Who are you? I even mortgaged my house. This envoy of the great Joe actually ran away. Let the government catch them back. Quote dot 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 quote. The people were like boiling water, their eyes were red, and their anger seemed to turn into substance, as if they were going to burn the government office to ashes. The surrounding Yaman runners had no intention of maintaining order, and they all cried, as if their father had died because they also bought bonds. Seeing that no officials came out of the Yaman, the momentum of these people became more and more powerful. Inside the government office, the officials were pale. They listened to the shouts outside, like zombies. After a long time, this, an official suddenly jumped up, indignant, why did he run away? I smashed my father-in-law's coffin inside. The other officials were also crying without tears. This Yang Yi really hurt them badly. Great Joe. Qianyuan Hall. Your Majesty. Sheng Wan Waner rushed in hurriedly, and a touch of red appeared on her fair and cold face. Wu Zhao rubbed her eyebrows tiredly. What's wrong? Sheng Wan Waner panted and said, Lord Yang is back. Wu Zhao stood up suddenly, not caring about her manners. Her dark eyes were shining like never before. Where? Sheng Wan Waner took a deep breath. Just outside the council hall. The Empress's eyebrows were full of expectation. Come on, let's go and have a look. A moment later, outside the council hall, dozens of mule carts were parked side by side outside the hall. A large group of officials surrounded them. Everyone looked at the boxes on these carts in astonishment. Xu Jingzong, the minister of the Central Secretariat, pulled his gray beard and showed an incredible look. Minister Yang, are you saying that the treasures in these boxes are worth tens of millions of tails? Yang Yi met everyone's gaze and said with a smile. Conservatively estimated to be tens of millions of tails. After all, real gold and silver are only a part of it, and a large part of it is antique calligraphy and paintings. When he finished speaking, everyone gasped. Even Xu Jingzong couldn't maintain the dignity of the minister of the central secretariat at this time, and looked at these mule carts tremblingly. Yang Yi stayed in the Qing dynasty for a few months, and in a blink of an eye, he embezzled tens of millions of tails. Li Yifu's eyes were red. Impossible. How could this kid embezzle tens of millions of tails and come back from the Qing dynasty safely? He gritted his teeth, walked forward and opened the box in front of him, revealing the contents. The people around took a look and gasped, their scalps tingling. There was a box of gold in the alley. Li Yifu was shocked. He looked incredible. It turned out to be gold. Did this kid really cheat a lot of money from the Qing dynasty? His head was dizzy, and a strong jealousy rose in his heart. Li Yifu gritted his teeth and walked to the side to open the boxes one by one. Jewelry, jewelry, calligraphy and paintings, antiques, gold bars. Boxes of treasures almost dazzled their eyes. Li Yifu's face became paler and paler. Every time he opened a box, he was frustrated. This kid actually did it. The officials next to him were all dumbfounded. Incredible, simply incredible. They were stunned. These treasures are worth a lot of money, but they were all brought back by Yang Yi. How did this Yang Shilang do it? Xu Jingzong and others were numbed and shocked. Although they are also bigwigs in the officialdom, this is tens of millions of treasures. How much tax revenue did the great Zhou collect in a year? These treasures are almost half of it. This Yang Shilang is really a genius. Everyone looked at Yang Yi in shock. Just then, your majesty is here. The voice of a palace maid sounded. The empress's carriage appeared in front of everyone. Everyone saluted. Your majesty. Wu Zhao nodded casually, and then turned her eyes to Yang Yi, whom she had not seen for a long time. 
she suppressed her inner excitement, and her cold and noble face was calm. Yang Cheng, are you okay? Yang Yi bowed and smiled. Your Majesty, I am glad to have fulfilled your mission. Wu Zhao was startled, and then she noticed the carriages next to her. She took a look at the carriages. The boxes of treasures on the carriages shone brightly under the sunlight. Wu Zhao was dumbfounded. Her black and white eyes were full of shock. What's going on? Shang Wan Waner and others on the side were also stunned. They looked at these glittering treasures in disbelief, and their hearts were like a raging sea. Yang Yi said solemnly, Your Majesty, I issued bonds in Qing, which attracted the powerful and the people to buy them. Within three months, I collected all these treasures, including eight million tails of gold and silver. The total value of these antiques and calligraphy and paintings will not be less than seven million tails. Hiss. Everyone present took a breath and looked shocked. So shocking. Tens of millions of tales of treasures. It was so clear in front of them, just like in a dream. Wu Zhao was also stunned for a while. As the emperor of the great Zhou, she was of course well informed. But it was the first time that tens of millions of real gold and silver were placed in front of her. She turned her head with some difficulty and looked at Yang Yi, with doubts in her black eyes. I have heard a little about your bond business in Qing. But I heard that you gave a very high interest rate. How did you do it? And this money is. Everyone looked at Yang Yi with curiosity. Even Li Yifu, who was extremely jealous of Yang Yi, looked at Yang Yi. He wanted to know at this moment, how can the bond business make so much money? Yang Yi smiled, and a strange look appeared on his handsome face. Your Majesty, the situation I set up is actually very simple. It is nothing more than taking advantage of people's greed. The bonds I issued can earn 10% interest in 10 days, 50% interest in one month, and 10 times the principal plus interest in one year. These people will inevitably be unable to restrain their greed and come to buy bonds when they hear that the interest rate is so high. Some people must be suspicious at the beginning, so we will return their principal and interest to them in full and set a threshold so that they can only buy once a month. In this way, those who buy less will only regret it, and those who don't buy will want to buy a big one. Repeat this several times to get them after gaining trust, more and more people will come to buy. Quote, the reason why I can pay the interest is nothing more than robbing Peter to pay Paul, using the funds of those who buy bonds later to make up for the principal plus interest returned by those who bought bonds earlier. Under such a scheme, my cash here is like a snowball, rolling bigger and bigger. Of course, such robbing Peter to pay Paul will be exposed one day because of the imbalance of income and expenditure. So, I only took three months, when they invested the largest amount of money, and ran away with the money. This so-called bond business has never made money, but they are greedy for my interest, and I aim at their principle. Silence. The scene was silent. Everyone seemed to be silent, with a look of shock on their faces. They were stunned. No wonder there are tens of millions of dollars, it turns out that Yang Yi directly took away the principal of those Qing people. No wonder Yang Yi could afford such a high interest in Qing before. It's numb. This guy never intended to return the principal to those people from the beginning to the end. What a vicious plan. Wu Zhao was quite stunned and shocked. This kind of scam that can defraud a large amount of money is the first time she has seen it. She pursed her lips. Then you just run away, those people. Yang Yi smiled slightly. There are many powerful people among them, and they should go to the government to make trouble. After all, many of them have pawned all their property, even their houses, and all come to buy my bonds. Now that I have taken the money away, this group of people will lose everything and may even demolish the Qing government office. Hiss. Everyone couldn't help but gasp, their scalps tingling and their hair standing on end including Shang Wan Waner and others, they also stared at Yang Yi in amazement. Too cruel. This minister Yang not only set up a trap to defraud the money of those Qing people, but also left a huge mess for Qianlong. This strategy is too vicious. Who can bear it? I guess Qianlong will be mad. The expression on the face of Her Majesty was very wonderful. She never expected that Yang Yi would set a big trap for the Qing people. No wonder Yang Yi said something hurtful before he left. This move was really hurtful. However, she was very happy in her heart. Qianlong made her feel very aggrieved at the beginning. Now Yang Yi slapped her back hard, and she was refreshed immediately. 
Wu Zhao pondered and said, You took the money, Qianlong will definitely not let it go. Next, how should my great Zhou deal with it? Yang Yi smiled. The emperor of the Qing dynasty wants to marry my great Zhou. Such an insulting act, my great Zhou will certainly not tolerate it. I beg your majesty to issue an imperial decree immediately and declare war on the Qing dynasty. Everyone was stunned. He took away the money of the Qing people and turned around to declare war on the Qing dynasty. The evil person complained first. I guess Qianlong would be furious. Wu Zhao's phoenix eyes lit up. How could I have almost forgotten that there was this excuse? She raised her eyebrows and sneered. When Qianlong dared to humiliate the great Zhou in this way, I must ask for an explanation. Now that she has money, Her Majesty the Empress has also become tough. Wars are fought for money. As long as there is money, the great Zhou can fully support the war with the Qing dynasty. On the contrary, the mess of the Qing dynasty at this time is enough to make Qianlong anxious. I wonder if he has the spare energy to deal with her great Zhou. Tang Dynasty, Taiji Hall, Your Majesty, Cheng Sun Wuji trotted in, showing a flexibility that was completely inconsistent with his fat body. Li Shimin raised his eyebrows. What's wrong, auxiliary machine? Cheng Sun Wuji's face showed a strange look. Your Majesty, Yang Yi took the money for buying bonds and ran away. What? Li Shimin exclaimed, with an incredible look on his face. The other officials of the Great Tang Dynasty were also stunned. Run away, Fang Xuanling frowned. Duke Zhao, is this true or false? Li Xiaogong, Du Ruhui, Wei Zheng and others stared at Cheng Sun Wuji curiously. Cheng Sun Wuji smiled bitterly and said, This matter has become a big deal in the Qing Dynasty. Now tens of thousands of people are asking for money outside the Qing Dynasty palace. I guess Qianlong will be furious. Hiss, Li Xiaogong, Du Ruhui, Wei Zheng, Fang Xuanling, Yao Shilian and others took a breath of cold air. They never expected Yang Yi to be so bold. Li Shimin's eyes widened and he grasped the edge of the dragon throne. He really ran away with the money. He looked incredible. No one expected that the final result would be like this. The Taiji Hall was quiet for a long time. Fang Xuanling sighed. So that's it. No wonder Yang Yi would sell bonds in Qing. Everyone looked at Fang Xuanling with confusion. Li Shimin touched his chin. Xuanling, what do you mean? Fang Xuanling smiled bitterly and said, Your Majesty, didn't we wonder why Yang Yi went to the capital of Qing to be a money-giving boy? Li Shimin nodded subconsciously, and then reacted, his eyes narrowed. You mean, he had already set up a trap, using sky-high interest rates to attract these people. In fact, he had been targeting their principal from the beginning to the end, and never thought about giving interest. Fang Xuanling nodded, with some emotion. Yes, that's right, your majesty. I guess that the reason why he could afford to pay those interests in the early stage was because he used the money invested by others to make up for the interest of the previous people. In this way, he can create a gimmick of high investment and high return. When others see that there is money to be made, they will invest more and more. When enough people invest, he will have a huge sum of money in his hands. If he continues to maintain this bond business, the longer the time, the more this huge sum of money will be insufficient to cover the expenses. After all, it was just robbing Peter to pay Paul, not really making money, so he chose to run away when he had the most money, when everyone thought the bond business was the most prosperous and least likely to fail, catching everyone off guard and leaving safely. This man has a clear understanding of the economy and human nature, and is a natural talent for assisting the king. This plan is too vicious and too insidious. His scam will at least break up hundreds of thousands of families in the Qing dynasty, and may even affect millions of people. As Fang Xuanling sighed, the hall was terribly quiet. Cheng Sun Wuji, Li Xiaogong, Du Ruhui, Wei Zheng, Yao Shilian and other high-ranking officials of the Tang dynasty were dumbfounded and shocked. It was so shocking. The counselor entered the game, fabricated a lie, took advantage of human greed, and entangled everyone in the Qing dynasty. In the eyes of the public, he took a lot of money and got away with it. This is simply a legendary textbook-like strategy. Even if they were to ask themselves, if they were facing this situation, they would probably be deeply involved in it. Yang Yi is really terrible. A complex look flashed across Li Shimin's eyes. There was both admiration and worry. For a long time. Li Shimin sighed deeply. 
With such a strategy and such courage, why is he not a minister of my Tang dynasty? Everyone was silent. Such a genius, even as arrogant as they are, is also fearful. If they really face Yang Yi, they dare not say that they will definitely be better in strategy. Ming Dynasty. Good, good, good. Zhu Yuanzhong's sharp eyes flashed a smile. This kid actually tricked the Qing people, I feel very happy. Zhu Biao next to him was silent, and he was also a little curious about who this Yang Shilang of the Great Zhou was. Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty have always been mortal enemies. When Zhu Yuanzhong was fighting with Zhang Xicheng, Chen Yuliang and others, the emperor of the Qing Dynasty tried to take the opportunity to invade. Fortunately, Zhu Yuanzhong swept everything and established the Ming Empire. However, the hatred between the Ming and Qing dynasties was formed. Now seeing Qianlong in trouble, Zhu Yuanzhong was very happy. After a while, the laughter in the hall stopped. Zhu Yuanzhong touched his chin. But this Yang Shilang of Zhou is indeed a tough guy. I hope that my Ming dynasty will try not to confront him in the future. Biaur, we heard that he is an orphan. Do you think we should send someone to Zhou to tie him up and then marry one of your sisters to him? In this way, he will become a member of our Ming dynasty. We see that this kid is not very old, and he can assist you in the future. None of the young officials left in the Ming dynasty are useful. Zhu Biao, Dokken, inside Zongtai Palace, the whole hall is supported by square pillars, paved with blue bricks, tightly fitting, and in the corner, there is a beast stove with fragrance. There is nothing else in the whole hall except tables and chairs, which is simple and concise. Pa, Ying Zheng put the memorial in his hand on the table, and a trace of surprise appeared on his calm face. So that's it. This person's strategy is wild and unrestrained, really interesting. He shook his head, not expecting that the situation that he didn't even see through would end in this way. Three days later, Qing Dynasty, Jinluan Palace. Your Majesty, what should we do now? Fu Cha Fuang said cautiously. He was also a little helpless. Those people who were cheated of their money now run to sit outside the palace all day long. It's not the emperor who cheated your money, what's the point of looking for the emperor? But he probably understands it. After all, Yang Yi ran away. These people couldn't go to Zhou to find Yang Yi, so they could only turn around and blame the emperor. If it were just one person, of course they wouldn't dare. But now there are tens of thousands of people who have been deceived. With such a large number of people, even the emperor wouldn't dare to be careless. Qianlong's eye sockets were sunken, his eyes were full of bloodshot, and even his temples were a little gray. These days, he hasn't had a good night's sleep. Yang Yi cheated him badly. He is now thinking all day about how to appease these people. But he can't think of it no matter how hard he tries. What's more, he was cheated of hundreds of thousands of tails. When he thinks about it now, his heart is bleeding. Qianlong coughed heavily a few times, and his lips turned slightly white. He glared at the ministers around him. I have to find a solution for everything, what's the use of you? A group of Qing ministers wanted to cry but had no tears. This broken situation would give anyone a headache. Just then, an old man with gray hair and a burly figure hurried in. His brows were full of sternness, and his face was quite solemn at this time. Your Majesty, there is urgent news. Qianlong was stunned, and his face suddenly became solemn. The old man in front of him was the regent left by his father. The current prime minister, who also served as the minister of military affairs, the minister of the imperial guard, and the minister of state affairs, the chief minister of the cabinet, Ortai. Qianlong said in a deep voice, Ortai, what's wrong? Ortai frowned. Your Majesty, the Queen of Zhou claimed that Your Majesty humiliated Zhou with the marriage, saying that it is not reasonable for the monarch to marry outside. She has now declared war on my Qing country, saying that if Your Majesty apologizes now, then the past will be forgiven. If you don't apologize, the two countries will fight to the death. Silence. Everyone in the hall took a breath and their scalps numbed. They never thought that the matter in the capital had not been resolved. This Zhou country actually declared war on them again. These Zhou people are too shameless. Qianlong's face quickly turned red from white, his cheeks bulged, his cheekbones were tight, and his eyes were bloodshot, looking extremely scary. He pinched the edge of the dragon throne fiercely, his eyes were as cold and piercing as the north wind. 
Yang Yi just took away their money, and the Great Zhou immediately declared war. Isn't it obvious that they are using their Qing dynasty's money to fight against their Qing dynasty? This pair of dogs and fools. Qianlong was going crazy. Fu Chi Fuang and others were also quite angry. The Zhou people really know how to pick the time. Ortai pondered and said, Your Majesty, how should we respond? Pa, Qianlong slapped the dragon throne hard, scaring everyone present. The emperor of the Qing dynasty almost jumped up, roaring like a mad dog. Hit, I will cut this pair of dogs and fools into human sticks. I will kill them. Everyone was shocked, knowing that Qianlong was furious to the extreme. Anyone who is teased and provoked like this will be unable to sit still. Da Zhou, Imperial Palace, Shu Yu Palace. Yang Yi looked at Princess Wu San who kept circling around him with a strange look on his face. After the princess invited him over, she kept looking at him as if she had found gold. For a while, Yang Yi couldn't help but say, I don't know why the princess called me here. Wu Mingyu snapped her fingers, put her hands on her waist, and stared at him with her black eyes. I didn't expect that you are so good at making money. Yang Yi raised her eyebrows. Why do you say that, princess? He he, stop pretending. Wu Mingyu showed a look of, don't try to fool me. You brought back tens of millions of property for the imperial sister, and this matter has spread like crazy. Yang Yi, this girl is quite well informed. Wu Mingyu blinked her dark eyes and leaned over with her fair and tender face. Hey, you are so good at making money, why don't you teach me? Or cooperate with me, I will protect you, and you will help me make money. The beauty was so close, and the fragrance that came to his face made Yang Yi feel relaxed and happy. He couldn't help but lower his head slightly, and saw a large area of Wu Mingyu's full and white chest. Yang Yi blinked his eyes. The third princess is short of money. Wu Mingyu snorted. Of course I am short of money. Who would think that money is too little? Yang Yi didn't move his eyes, still admiring the full chest of the third princess, and said calmly. You can just be with his majesty, why waste time making money? Wu Mingyu pouted put her hands on her waist, and leaned forward slightly. My sister is exhausted from all the work of state affairs. How can I have the nerve to bother her for such a small matter? I will do the work, you will do the brains, let's make it bigger and stronger. Hey, just tell me if it's okay. Wu Mingyu tilted her head, her body swayed slightly, revealing her lovely face, and the youthful and lively breath of a girl came to her face. Yang Yi was a little dizzy. White, too white. He was a little dizzy. He coughed lightly. What did you say just now? It was too loud. I didn't hear it. Qianyuan Palace. Oh, Qianlong is pretty tough, but I don't know how he cleaned up his mess. Wu Zhao held the memorial, thinking, Waner, where is Yang Yi now? Shangguan Waner on the side hurriedly said. I heard that he was invited by the third princess. Wu Zhao blinked her phoenix eyes and pondered. Is he with the third sister? Go and call him first. Shangguan Waner said respectfully, Yes, your majesty. Shu Yu Palace. Wu Mingyu was startled, and her black eyes blinked. Obviously, she didn't understand what Yang Yi meant by white and big. She put her hands on her waist and pouted and repeated it again. I say, I will protect you, you give me ideas, how about we work together to make money? Yang Yi smelled the fragrance on Wu Mingyu's body, raised his eyebrows, and a smile that made Wu Mingyu's heart jump appeared on his angular face. His eyes were bright, as if they could burn into Wu Mingyu's eyes. If the third princess wants to make money, wouldn't there be countless people rushing to her door to offer business? Wu Mingyu pouted her rosy lips. I don't want to take their money. Hey, you don't understand. I am the third sister of the emperor. The whole great Zhou is supported by the emperor alone, so of course I want to help the emperor. Yang Yi suddenly realized, that's it, he thought about it for a while, and then said, if the third princess wants to do a profitable business, it's too simple. I have a business that can make money and help your majesty. Wu Mingyu's eyes lit up. These words really touched her heart. She pursed her lips and said impatiently, what business? Yang Yi blinked, looking serious. This business can only be handled by the royal family, and it is of great importance. Please ask the third princess to come closer. Wu Mingyu did not doubt him, and quickly tiptoed and put her ear closer. The beauty is so close. Yang Yi could even see the fine hairs on Wu Mingyu's neck. 
He blinked and glanced down. Tisk, everything is in sight. He said calmly to Wu Mingyu's delicate and small ears. I call this business newspapers. Newspapers. Although Wu Mingyu's ears were tickled by Yang Yi's breath, she still showed curiosity. Yes, this newspaper. Hey, a light green belly band. Yang Yi's words stopped abruptly. Wu Mingyu was confused and didn't understand what Yang Yi meant at all. What did you say? Yang Yi coughed lightly. It's okay, it's okay. What I mean is that the profit of this newspaper is not high in the early stage, but it requires a lot of effort. Your Highness the Third Princess needs to know this. Wu Mingyu patted her chest and said seriously, Don't worry about this. I am the most hardworking person. Yang Yi was filled with emotion, and his heart was in turmoil. He said calmly, Besides that, the biggest use of newspapers is the control of public opinion. If used properly, the impact of a public opinion offensive is no less than that of a war, so this newspaper is very important, and only the third princess can be in charge. If it is replaced by anyone else, it is not assured. Wu Mingyu heard this and said seriously, My father died early, and my eldest sister got married. The great Joe relies on my sister alone. I must help my sister. I don't want to be a useless vase. Yang Yi was speechless for a while. Who dares to say that you are a vase? You have two heavy truths at such a young age. He smiled. Don't worry, princess, with the newspaper, you are not only not a vase, but even the queen of public opinion in the great Zhou. Wu Mingyu's eyes lit up and curved into a crescent. Yang Yi's words made her very useful. Although she was not interested in the throne, this sentence of queen of public opinion obviously scratched her itch. She suddenly turned back excitedly, her black and white eyes shining. Then tell me what this newspaper is and what to do. Ah, what are you looking at? Wu Mingyu looked at Yang Yi in surprise. Yang Yi's eyes seemed to be fixed on her chest. Yang Yi didn't expect Wu Mingyu to turn around suddenly, so he didn't have time to retract his gaze. Now he looked at Wu Mingyu, even though he was thick-skinned, he felt a little embarrassed. Wu Mingyu looked down along Yang Yi's gaze, and her fair and tender face suddenly flushed. Her rosy little mouth opened slightly, her thin face seemed to be on fire, and her heart beat violently. She reacted at this moment. Unconsciously, she was already very close to Yang Yi, and she could even feel the masculine aura of Yang Yi's manly charm coming towards her, making her heart tremble violently. In addition, Yang Yi's eyes seemed to have seen through her, and an indescribable shyness rushed straight to her heart. Wu Mingyu suddenly screamed and pushed Yang Yi away, but because she was too close and the force was too strong, she fell back violently. If the back of her head hit the hard floor tiles, then this silly third princess would be finished. Yang Yi was startled and subconsciously pulled Wu Mingyu into his arms. Wu Mingyu was pulled back and hit Yang Yi's arms. The two of them didn't stand firmly and rolled together in the blink of an eye. Snap! The two stopped. Wu Mingyu lay on Yang Yi's chest, like a weak little white sheep, panting. Yang Yi fell to the ground, and he was relieved. Fortunately, he caught Wu Mingyu just now. Otherwise, with such a hard floor, Wu Mingyu would probably be sent away directly if she hit her head. The hall became quiet. The atmosphere was quite awkward. Wu Mingyu lay on Yang Yi's chest, feeling Yang Yi's breath, her face flushed to her ears. She quickly propped up her hands on Yang Yi's chest, angrily looking at Yang Yi lying under her, wishing she could spit in Yang Yi's face. You. Dot you, Letcher. Yang Yi smiled bitterly. This was really a case of no defense. He was just about to fool Wu Han Han again. Suddenly, a surprised voice suddenly sounded. Minister Yang, third princess, what are you doing? Yang Yi, Wu Ming Yu. They looked in the direction of the sound with confused faces. They saw the entrance of the palace. Shang Wan Waner, who had just arrived, and Wu Ming Yu's personal maid Wame were both shocked. Yang Yi's eyelids jumped. This time, there was no way to clear it up even if she jumped into the Yellow River. Wu Mingyu's reaction was even more intense, and she almost jumped up and danced. I, this palace, he, that. She held it in for a long time, her face flushed, almost like smoke. Nothing happened to us, her voice echoed in the palace. Sheng Wan Waner and Wame were stunned. They never expected that Yang Yi and Wu Mingyu's progress would be so fast. Seeing Wu Mingyu's guilty explanation, the two nodded quickly. Your Highness, we didn't see anything. Wu Mingyu. What does this mean? 
What do you mean you didn't see it? She is innocent. Wu Mingyu's ears turned red, as if they were ripe. Especially the strange looks from Shang Wang Waner and the maid made her feel embarrassed. Wu Mingyu gritted her teeth, stamped her feet hard, and then ran out of the palace with her skirt saw, stretching her long and straight legs. She was embarrassed to stay here any longer. Although, this was her palace. Hey, your highness. The maid Wame hurried out to follow the princess. Soon only Shang Wan Waner and Yang Yi were left in the palace. The atmosphere was a little awkward. Shang Wan Waner blinked and stared at Yang Yi. Yang Yi, he coughed lightly. What's the matter, Shang Wan Xiu? Shang Wan Waner came back to her senses and pursed her lips. Your Majesty, please ask Minister Yang to move to Qianyuan Palace. Yang Yi's scalp suddenly numbed. He had just taken advantage of someone's sister, and now he ran over, it was really a sharp edge behind him. Even if the Empress doesn't know at this moment. But she will know sooner or later. Yang Yi hesitated for a while, then said. Please lead the way, Shang Wan Xiu. Shang Wan Waner also regained her composure at this time and smiled slightly. Come with me, Yang Shilang. After one stick of incense. Qianyuan Hall. Qianlong accepted the challenge, and even threatened to cut you and me into human sticks. Wu Zhao's cold and noble face was calm, and her slender fingers pushed the memorial in front of her to Yang Yi. Yang Yi picked up the memorial and looked at it for a few times without raising his eyelids. He curled his lips. He is too confident. In this battle, I think my great Zhou will win. Wu Zhao raised her delicate head slightly, and her eyes were calm. Are you so confident? Yang Yi said seriously, of course, although the Qing kingdom is strong, our great Zhou is not weak either. Moreover, this battle concerns the national system of our great Zhou. The generals and soldiers must work together. With high morale, how can we fail? This is the first reason. Second, the Qing kingdom has been recuperating for many years. Although its national strength is not weak and its equipment is complete, its soldiers have not been on the battlefield many times. Our great Zhou has been fighting with the Turks for many years and has trained a group of elite soldiers. If they meet us, they may not have a chance of winning. Wu Zhao nodded slightly. In fact, she was also quite afraid of the Qing Kingdom. After all, the Iron Pagoda of the Jurchens was really a world-class cavalry. But now after Yang Yi's analysis, she has more confidence in her heart. She stared and pondered for a moment, and her slender fingers subconsciously rubbed the edge of the chair. What do you think about the candidates for this battle? Yang Yi was stunned. He didn't expect that the Empress would ask him about such matters involving military deployment. This was enough to show the Empress's trust in him. He subconsciously glanced at the Empress and suddenly met her gaze. The two of them separated as soon as their eyes met. The Empress turned her head away as if nothing had happened. Yang Yi coughed lightly. Your Majesty is wise and decisive, and I believe the candidate must be fine but I want to recommend someone who may be able to help your majesty. Wu Zhao was a little curious. Who? Yang Yi said seriously. I have a guard named Li Kunxiao beside me. This man is born with supernatural power and is a fierce general on the battlefield. If he joins the army, he will definitely be able to make great contributions to the great Zhou. He originally wanted to send Dian Wei over as well. However, as an excellent counselor, he still planned to leave a strong guard for himself. After all, he has offended many people. Wu Zhao pondered for a moment, then nodded. I know, let him report to the army tomorrow, I will have someone say hello. She had never heard of Li Kunxiao's name, but since he was the candidate recommended by Yang Yi, she certainly would not refuse. This is also a trust in him. Yang Yi was quite moved. Although the Empress was as cold as ice, she trusted him very much. She didn't even have to think about the person he recommended, and she used him directly, purely for his face. Thinking about it this way, the Empress was only cold on the outside, but she was still very reasonable in her heart. Ice and fire, Yang Yi couldn't help muttering in her heart. Wu Zhao naturally didn't know that the minister in front of her, who looked thick-browed and upright, was, slandering, her. She pursed her lips and said casually as if inadvertently. I heard that you were at the princess's place just now. Why did she call you over? Yang Yi's heart tightened, and he felt a little guilty, but then he relaxed. How could the empress know what he had just done in Shuyu Palace? At least she couldn't know now. 
she probably knew his whereabouts from someone else, so she was just curious and asked him. He said seriously. In fact, it was the third princess who wanted to share the worries of his majesty. Oh, the empress's beautiful phoenix eyebrows slightly frowned, and her dark and clear eyes showed a hint of surprise. Yang Yi then told Wu Zhao about Wu Mingyu's idea of making money to help the empress share the pressure. Of course, some unnecessary parts were omitted. After a while. Wait until Yang Yi finished speaking. Wu Zhao's cold and noble face flashed a trace of surprise, and then shook her head helplessly. This girl, she is really a child. She can just make trouble by herself, but she also drags you to make trouble together. Although she said so, her words were full of pampering, and even her cold face softened a little. Yang Yi muttered in his heart, How can this be called a child? She is clearly a grown-up girl, with a childlike face and a big body. Thinking of this, he subconsciously glanced at the empress's full chest. The gorgeous dragon robe embroidered with Su Jin's gold thread was propped up very high, and the five-clawed golden dragon on it was almost highlighted into a 3D effect, especially the head of the five-clawed golden dragon was lifelike. Yang Yi was quite emotional. This is a family with good genes and talents. He said calmly, Your Majesty, although the idea of the third princess is a bit naive, she is also considering your majesty from the bottom of her heart. It is really enviable to have such a well-behaved and filial sister. Wu Zhao snorted lightly. This girl has been naughty since she was young, and she is not a smart person. I don't know how many things she has messed up. She is also sharing my worries. It is a blessing that she does not mess up for me. I will definitely scold her later. As an important official of the court, how can you have time to play with her? Yang Yi secretly smacked his lips. Although the empress's words were full of pampering for Wu Mingyu, this feudal patriarch's momentum was frightening. No wonder the third princess rarely came to Qianyuan Hall. He shook his head and said seriously, Your Majesty, I think the third princess's innocent heart is quite precious. I once saw a sentence in the book. Don't say angry words to people close to you, don't say the opposite, don't be silent. Wu Zhao was stunned and fell silent. She was thinking about something. What Yang Yi said seemed simple, but in fact it had a deep meaning. The empress was silent for a moment, then suddenly frowned. Even you dare to teach me a lesson. Yang Yi was speechless, knowing that the empress was joking, and said hurriedly. I dare not. Wu Zhao snorted. Forget it forget it, since you don't feel anything, I don't bother to care about you. You leave. Yang Yi couldn't help laughing. This cold empress was probably touched by her words just now, but she couldn't bring herself to admit that she was wrong, so she pretended to be impatient. The so-called, not bothering to care, also means approval, doesn't it? I didn't expect that the high and mighty empress had such a side. He was quite emotional, and then he said goodbye and left. When Yang Yi left, Shang Wan Wanner walked in slowly. Your Majesty, Wu Zhao glanced at her. What's wrong? Shang Wan Wanner hesitated for a while, not knowing whether she should tell Her Majesty what she had just seen. But after all, it was about the third princess and Yang Yi, and it was not something shameful. As the elder sister of the third princess, the Empress should know. She hesitated for a moment, and then described what she saw. Wu Zhao was stunned when she heard this, her eyes were a little strange, and she shook her head and smiled bitterly. No wonder this guy kept speaking for the third lady just now, it turned out that the two of them were getting close to each other. It seems that the third lady is about to get married. Shang Wan Wanner was stunned, she didn't expect the empress to be so open-minded. She thought that the empress had some feelings for Yang Shilang, but now it seems that she was wrong. Wu Zhao's phoenix eyes closed slightly, and her tone was calm. I was thinking about bringing them together, but now it seems that the man has feelings and the concubine has intentions. In that case, let them let it go. Wait until they express their feelings to each other, and then I will help them, Wanner, what do you think? Sheng Wan Wanner opened her mouth, subconsciously wanting to praise the emperor for his wisdom. However, for some reason, she felt a tightness in her heart, but she answered. Wanner thinks that Minister Yang is more suitable for your majesty. Wu Zhao looked calm and glanced at her lightly. Don't say such things in the future. Isn't it just what I want that he can be with Saniang? Saniang will have someone to entrust in the future, and people like him will belong to my camp from now on, the best of both worlds. 
Shang Wan Waner pursed her lips and said nothing. His majesty's words were reasonable and there was no ripple. However, she, who had followed his majesty since she was a child, always felt that something was wrong. Wu Zhao felt irritated for no reason, and she waved her hand. You go out. Yes, your majesty. Shang Wan Waner withdrew respectfully. Wu Zhao pondered for a moment, picked up the unreviewed memorial, and continued to read it. The warm sunlight shone through the window onto her cold and pretty face, as if coated with a layer of light gold gauze, and her delicate and fair skin was like the finest jade, with a radiant luster. After a while, Wu Zhao frowned and stared at the memorial in front of her with an indifferent expression. For some reason, she felt quite upset and couldn't read it at all. In the past, this memorial would have been annotated long ago. But today it was strange, and she couldn't calm down to read it. She threw the memorial in her hand aside. Hum, it must be that the handwriting of this memorial was too bad, so she didn't feel like reading it. For three days in a row, Yang Yi did not see Wu Mingyu again. I wonder if Wu Mingyu was embarrassed to see him. Yang Yi could understand, but he did not take it to heart. After all, he was not a child anymore, so this embarrassing thing would be over. At least, Wu Mingyu should not know that he saw those two cherry red spots. Another day passed. Yang Yi was just about to return home. Minister Yang, the third princess invites you. A maid respectfully said to Yang Yi. Yang Yi knew this maid, she was Wu Mingyu's maid. Yang Yi looked strange. This girl adjusted her mood quickly. He hesitated for a while, then nodded. He was a man who had lived two lives, of course he would not be afraid of a little girl. Shu Yu Palace. Yang Yi looked at the bead curtain in front of him with a strange look on his face and said unhappily. Princess, what do you mean? Wu Mingyu sat on a chair, wrapped in a lavender palace skirt with a collar over her neck. There was a pearl curtain made of pearls and agates between the two of them. Wu Mingyu rolled her eyes, looking alert. Hey, who told you, a pervert, to peek at me? Yang Yi, he said seriously. Your Highness, you are wrong. I have never peeked at you. Don't slander me. Wu Mingyu's eyes, as transparent as amber, widened. How did I slander you? Yang Yi blinked. I was clearly looking at you openly, how could I peek? Wu Mingyu's thin face became hot, and it was white and red, as if it was stained with a layer of rouge. She was no match for Yang Yi, and her face turned red after just a few words. She said angrily, I don't care, you saw it anyway. Yang Yi looked innocent. Your Highness, you came close to me and asked me to see it. I can't help but see it. You can't poke my eyes out, right? Wu Ming Yu. She was so angry that her head was buzzing. HMPH, you lecher, you are a lecher. Yang Yi twitched his lips. Just these few, dirty words, are not lethal to him, who has experienced the era of information explosion. He shook his head. Your Highness invited me here today just to call me a lecher. Wu Mingyu was startled, and then realized that there was something else to do today. She snorted. Didn't you say that you wanted to do some newspaper business with me that day, but you didn't finish your words? What exactly is this newspaper, and how should it be made? You should explain it clearly. Yang Yi was happy. It turned out to be about this matter. He pretended to be confused. Princess, the curtain is too thick. I can't hear what you are saying. Wu Mingyu's black pearl-like eyes suddenly widened. This lecher, she felt aggrieved, but she couldn't do anything about Yang Yi. She couldn't go to her sister and say that Yang Yi had seen her chest. Wu Mingyu was holding it in for a long time, expressionless. Come on, remove the curtain. After a while, Yang Yi sat in front of Wu Mingyu with a smile. Wu Mingyu's long skirt today was quite conservative, and the clothes on her chest went all the way to her neck. Even so, her chest still held up a heavy arc. Yang Yi couldn't help but worry that her slender waist would be broken because of the burden on it. Tell me how to start this business. Wu Mingyu frowned and said fiercely. Yang Yi curled the corners of his mouth and rubbed his eyebrows. Princess, you know that thinking is the most laborious thing. If someone is fierce and evil, it will inevitably consume your mind and delay your thinking. Wu Mingyu clenched her fists. Why is this guy so annoying? She forced a smile on her face, and her voice was indeed softer. How about this? Yang Yi's face turned serious. It's like listening to the music of the gods, and your thoughts will suddenly come to you. 
The ancients were not deceiving me. Wu Ming Yu. This abominable guy is trying to make her smile. Sooner or later, I will ride on this fool and act arrogantly. Yang Yi didn't know what the princess was thinking. He said immediately, Princess, the so-called newspaper is actually a kind of strange and interesting things that happened at a certain time and place on weekdays, or news of great value recorded on a piece of paper. I call this instant news news, and the carrier of news is newspapers. He said concisely, and Wu Ming Yu's eyes lit up, but she didn't quite understand. So, the newspapers will summarize a lot of news from all over the country, and the people will get this news by buying newspapers. Yang Yi looked at Wu Ming Yu in surprise. Your Highness is really smart. Yes, these newspapers will be published and sold after publishing news from all over the country. Because the spread of news is delayed, if there is a newspaper that can summarize the recent major events, no one will be stingy to spend money. One person buys one, and if there are tens of millions of people in the Great Joe, as long as 10% of them buy it, the newspaper can be supported. By then, the newspapers issued by Your Highness may have millions of people, and even other countries. Even in addition to news, poems and songs can be published in newspapers to criticize current policies. By then, every word, every sentence, and every thought and thought of yours will be known by millions or even tens of millions of people. Wu Mingyu was stunned and shocked. Her mind was blank, and she had been shocked by the scene described by Yang Yi. Even as a princess of the royal family, she had never thought about how exciting it would be when millions of people read the news she wrote. This is equivalent to talking directly to countless people through a piece of paper. Chapter 31 After a while, Wu Mingyu calmed down. She took a deep breath. What do you mean by using newspapers to control public opinion? Yang Yi said with a smile. If a newspaper that can convey the latest news to hundreds of thousands or even millions of people publishes news about a big shot, will it attract widespread attention? And as long as we publish some rumors casually, even if it is marked as uncertain, but hundreds of millions of people see it, will it become a tiger and cause some public opinion? If this public opinion is negative against a big shot, do you think his reputation will be affected? Wu Mingyu was shocked when she heard this. She didn't think deeply just now. Now that Yang Yi pointed it out, she reacted immediately. Since this newspaper can convey the latest news, it can naturally convey wrong news. Once you want to create public opinion against someone, there will be hundreds of thousands of eyes watching. Wu Mingyu's scalp suddenly numbed. No wonder Yang Yi said that this thing is a sharp weapon and must be controlled by the royal family. It is better to prevent people from speaking than to prevent rivers. And newspapers are important things that can guide public opinion. She pursed her lips and looked at Yang Yi with a little more respect. Although this guy is a scoundrel, he is really smart. He can think of such a dirty trick. Once the newspaper is large enough, if you really use the newspaper to target someone, it will ruin the reputation of the person in an instant. The public opinion can melt gold, and the accumulated criticism can destroy bones. Just thinking about it makes people's backs cold. Wu Mingyu pursed her lips. Then what is the first step we should take? Yang Yi glanced at her and held up three fingers. Establish a newspaper, recruit reporters and editors, and then publish and print. This newspaper is difficult, but it is also simple. The most important thing is to attract people from the beginning. And to do this, in addition to those boring news, you also need to add entertainment sections, such as serializing stories on it, or Combining the newspapers of later generations with the current reality, he immediately gave some practical suggestions. Wu Mingyu's eyes sparkled when she heard this, and she wanted to take a small notebook to write down everything Yang Yi said. Ten days later, Qianyuan Palace, how have Yang Qing and Sanyang been getting along these days? Wu Zhao leaned back in her chair, wearing a red-bottomed light gold dragon robe, with her long black and smooth hair loose, each strand of hair shiny and smooth, her snow-white skin looming, her cold and pretty face calm, her phoenix eyes as calm as water, as if the words just now did not come out of her mouth. Yang Yi was stunned by the empress's question, he did not expect the empress to care about these. He raised his head slightly, met the empress's eyes, and said frankly. The third princess is cute and cheerful, and I am quite happy to get along with her. Wu Zhao's eyes drooped slightly. Really, she felt a little unhappy, but she could not tell why. The empress suppressed the strangeness in her heart and glanced at Yang Yi with cold eyes. Mr. Yang, 
why don't you reconsider my previous proposal? If you like Sanyang, I can grant you a marriage. Yang Yi sweated. He didn't expect the empress to bring up this again. He spread his hands helplessly. Your majesty, you misunderstood. Although I get along with the third princess quite happily, we get along more on official business, nothing else. Wu Zhao felt relieved for no reason, and smiled for the first time. You still have official business. What official business? Yang Yi felt that the empress's expression was a little strange, but he didn't think much about it, but recounted the newspaper matter. The empress was smiling at first, but her face changed as she listened. Control public opinion, she murmured, with shock in her eyes. Since ancient times, it is better to prevent people from speaking than to prevent rivers. The royal family usually relies on books or history recorded by historians to guide public opinion. For example, the neighboring Tang Emperor Li Shimin weakened the prestige of the five surnames and seven clans through the clan records. This is also a way to guide public opinion. But Yang Yi proposed a new way here, newspapers. This newspaper is much faster and more powerful than printed books. According to Yang Yi, newspapers should be appreciated by both the elite and the masses, and should be aimed at the people of the whole country and even the world. In such a newspaper, it is easy to guide public opinion, and it can also ruin a person's reputation in an instant. Wu Zhao looked at Yang Yi deeply. She originally thought that the two were just playing around, but she didn't expect Yang Yi to come up with such a terrible strategy. This newspaper will be a hidden sword of the empire if used well. If this sword is cut down, not to mention the dignitaries of the great Zhou, even the emperor can't stand it. Too cruel. No wonder Sanyang was asked to take charge of this newspaper. If it were anyone else, she would not be at ease. Wu Zhao felt admiration in her heart. This minister had considered all aspects before making a strategy, and there was nothing that made her feel uncomfortable. It was simply perfect. Fortunately, this guy was her minister of the great Zhou. The corners of her rosy lips curled up slightly. No wonder I haven't seen this girl recently. It turns out she's been messing around with the newspaper. That's good. It saves her from doing nothing in the palace all day. Yang Yi couldn't help but smile. Now she can't just do nothing. She's probably busy as hell. Luoyang, a busy street near the imperial city. A large shop near the center has been renovated and the plaques on it are covered with red cloth. Inside the house, Wu Mingyu stared at him with bloodshot eyes and gritted her teeth. This fool, he really acts like a hands-off shopkeeper. When she thought of Yang Yi's always smiling hateful handsome face, she was so angry that her chest rose and fell, and her full chest trembled. This guy clearly said that he would be the vice president and help her run the newspaper, but he just disappeared. Three days later, a paper reading material called the Great Zhou newspaper began to be issued. For a time, it caused the people of Luoyang to rush to buy it. And this new reading material called newspaper is gradually spreading and sweeping other cities. Shu Yu Palace, Your Highness Princess hurriedly called me here, why? Yang Yi said leisurely. Wu Mingyu pursed her lips and snorted. Did you forget to give me the manuscript for the next issue? The dream of red mansions and the romance of the West Chamber are very popular. Many people who buy newspapers ask for it by name. Yang Yi rubbed his eyebrows. Is this girl here to urge the manuscript? Don't worry, there are still several days. Due to traffic restrictions, he and Wu Mingyu have decided to issue the newspaper once a week. In this way, the time can be reserved to the greatest extent to ensure the quality. In this era, a newspaper issued every seven days is already the latest publication. If ordinary people want to get the news through other channels, the delay may be more than half a month. In the Great Zhou Dynasty, the decrees issued by the court were not known to the people in remote areas until half a year later. The lag of news makes newspapers the most popular reading material. So even if it is seven days, Yang Yi does not think the interval is long. Wu Mingyu saw his lazy look, and was furious, and snorted coldly. It will take several days just to print. No, you must hand in the manuscript to me today. Yang Yi yawned. Your Highness, my shoulders are a little sore now, and I guess I can't write. Wu Mingyu's cheeks bulged, and her big black and white eyes were full of indignation. You still want this princess to give you a massage. Yang Yi curled the corners of his lips. Your Highness, you don't want your career to stop just when it's just started. Wu Mingyu. She glared at Yang Yi angrily, 
gritted her teeth, and had to walk behind Yang Yi and start massaging with a deep hatred. Yang Yi smiled slightly, pretending not to notice Wu Mingyu's unhappy expression. In fact, he had already prepared the manuscripts and directly exchanged them for the full versions of Dream of Red Mansions and Romance of the Western Chamber in the system store. But it was ready, but if this girl didn't give him some benefits, why would he hand it in so quickly? After a while, Wu Mingyu's hands were sore from pressing. She rubbed her wrists. Is it okay now? Yang Yi nodded. Okay. He then took out a stack of manuscript paper from his arms. Here. For you, Wu Mingyu's eyes suddenly widened, and she pointed at the stack of manuscript paper in surprise. You. Dot you have already prepared it. Yang Yi nodded slightly. Of course, we need to prepare all the content before the next issue is published, and then reprint it. This will take a lot of time, so the content must be prepared in advance. Wu Mingyu. She said angrily. Then didn't you just lie to me on purpose? Yang Yi said seriously. No. Princess. Did you misunderstand? I never said that I didn't have any manuscripts. Wu Mingyu's rosy lips opened slightly, revealing a look of astonishment. Now that she thought about it carefully, Yang Yi didn't seem to have said that just now. No, this guy actually played a trick on her. She gritted her teeth and said, Then hand over all the manuscripts you haven't saved to me. Yang Yi shook his head. There's not a drop left. Wu Mingyu didn't believe it at all, and couldn't help but search his arms. Yang Yi's face became strange. Is this girl crazy? I guess she was so angry with him. Because he was sitting, Wu Mingyu had to bend down, stick out her round little butt, and search for the manuscript in his arms. Yang Yi looked down and saw everything. A large area of plump white skin was as smooth as jade, and the deep ravines were bottomless. Wu Mingyu didn't care about the distance between her and Yang Yi at this moment. She was very unhappy because she was teased by Yang Yi just now. Now she must squeeze all the manuscripts out of Yang Yi. Otherwise, she will lose a lot. You know, she has grown up so big, even the imperial sister has never let her massage. After a while, Wu Mingyu's eyes showed a trace of disappointment. Really nothing. It seems that this guy has only prepared this little. But it's good, these manuscripts can at least cope with several issues of newspapers. She snorted and prepared to get up. Suddenly, Wu Mingyu felt a chill in her chest. She subconsciously lowered her head and immediately met Yang Yi's serious eyes. If you don't know, you might think he is solving some difficult problems. Wu Mingyu reacted, she screamed, quickly got up, stepped back a few steps, and her fair face was red. She felt her face burning. But it was not the first time that Yang Yi looked at her, so she didn't react as much as before. Wu Mingyu put her hands on her waist angrily, with an indignant look on her face. You, were you looking at my breasts just now? Yang Yi said righteously, Your Highness, you misunderstood. I am a gentleman who never looks sideways. You, Wu Mingyu's black and white eyes widened, and she didn't know what to say for a moment. She gritted her teeth. Humph, you still want to quibble. Yang Yi frowned and said seriously, Your Highness, I'm just enjoying the scenery. Wu Mingyu's face was hot and she spat. Letcher. Pervert. I have long discovered that you just like to look at my breasts. Yang Yi spread his hands helplessly. I am not a pervert, just a normal man. What man doesn't like to look at breasts? Wu Mingyu felt like she was in a furnace, her whole body was hot. How could she be Yang Yi's opponent? It was her limit to be able to muster the courage to expose Yang Yi. She stamped her feet, took the manuscript, glared at Yang Yi with a red face, and ran away. Yang Yi touched his nose. Too white, at least a C cup, at this age, the future is limitless. Night falls. Yang Mansion. Yang Yi opens the system panel that he hasn't seen for a long time. Host. Yang Yi. Poisoner value. 89,836. Yang Yi was surprised by so many poisoner value. After all, he had consumed a lot of it in the previous lottery. But he reacted quickly. He had set up the Yang scam last time and cheated a group of Qing people. It seemed reasonable that the poisoner value would increase. Yang Yi thought about it and then started the lottery. A gamble, a bicycle becomes a motorcycle. Anyway, the prizes drawn in the lottery are also very cost effective. Ding. Consume 80,000 poisoner value and start the lottery. Closing square bracket. As the system prompt sounded. 
a hazy light emanated from the prize pool. After a while, a series of reward prompt sounds rang. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the vegetable greenhouse planting technology. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining a number of peppers. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining cement production technology. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning a fruit gift pack, including all kinds of fruits. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning some cotton. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning physical enhancement. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning some stockings. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning some sweet potatoes and corn. A series of prompt sounds made Yang Yi's eyes light up. It seems that he is lucky this time, and he actually won so many prizes. He remembered that the sweet potatoes and corn alone were sold for 50,000 in the system store. Including cotton and peppers, these things add up to more than 80,000. I didn't expect that I actually drew them. What's more, in addition to these, there are other prizes. This wave, make a lot of money. At this moment, a warm force wrapped his whole body. After a moment, this force slowly faded. Yang Yi suddenly felt that he was much more energetic, and even felt that his body was stronger. It should be the physical enhancement drawn by the system. He lifted his clothes and saw that his abdominal muscles were striking, and his energy seemed endless. Yang Yi looked at the mirror. His physical strength was strengthened, and he was more charming. He was more masculine than before. This wave of lottery was too cost-effective. Half a month later, Dokken, Shen Yang, Your Highness, a maid walked in respectfully holding a paper. The soft couch made of golden nanmu was covered with a soft quilt made of brocade embroidery. A girl in a purple loose dress was lying on the couch, holding a piece of paper with dense handwriting and flipping it over and over. The paper looked a little worn, and it was obvious that it had been turned over many times. Her two white and tender legs were shaking. Finally, a new issue is out. Ying Yinmin's eyes lit up, and she quickly turned over and took the newspaper from the maid. The front page of the newspaper was marked with the three big characters, Da Zhou Bao, which was quite eye-catching. Ying Yin Man's eyes curved into crescents, she fell on the couch, turned over, and continued to lie down, with her legs raised. She happily picked up the newspaper and immersed herself in it, without any princess attitude. The maid next to her quietly withdrew, not daring to disturb Her Royal Highness the Princess. After a while, Ying Yin Man made a suggestive groan, sighed, and put down the newspaper in her hand with an unsatisfied mind. She had finished reading the latest serial. As a loyal reader of, Da Jo Bao, she liked, Dream of Red Mansions, and, Romance of the West Chamber, serialized on it the most. As for other news, she had to wait until she finished reading these. Since the, Da Jo Bao, was published, it has been taken to various places by many traveling merchants. The maid accidentally saw, Da Zhou Bao, when she left the palace and found it quite interesting, so she took it back and presented it to Her Royal Highness the Princess. Unexpectedly, Ying Yinmen was immersed in it after a few glances, and she couldn't stop reading it. After that, Ying Yinmen didn't miss any issue of the newspaper and read it repeatedly. In an era of lack of spiritual entertainment, this, Da Zhou Bao, has become her only spiritual food. Ying Yinmen touched the new newspaper in her hand and muttered, this newspaper is really slow to come out. I heard that this newspaper was made by the Zhou people. I really want to meet the author who wrote, Dream of Red Mansions, and, Romance of the West Chamber. Hey, there seems to be an address on it. Can I write a letter to it? At the same time, all places have set off waves because of, Da Zhou Bao. Ming Dynasty, Shu Mansion, Sister, the newspaper is here. Shu Miaojin ran over breathlessly, her soft hair was a little messy. Her fair face was full of excitement. Shu Miaoyun put down the book in her hand, and her dark eyes showed expectation. Put it down quickly, let's read it together. Shu Miaojin responded, and the two sisters hid in the house and began to think about the newspaper. Since they accidentally saw this newspaper from a merchant in Daiming, they spent a lot of manpower to buy the latest newspaper from Zhou State. After that, they could get every issue as quickly as possible. The financial resources consumed far exceeded the price of this newspaper, but for them, the money was not a problem. This, Da Zhou Bao, was completely worth the price. Da Zhou, Qianyuan Hall, 
Wu Zhao looked at the memorial in front of her, frowned and said nothing. At this time, Sheng Wan Wanner walked in cautiously. Your Majesty, the ministers are waiting for you in the hall. Wu Zhao nodded slightly, with a cold look in her eyes. She immediately stood up. Let's go. Yes, Your Majesty. Sheng Wan Wanner whispered. Qianyuan Hall. The Empress came in and glanced at everyone, her eyes serious. Everyone was startled and saluted. Your Majesty. Wu Zhao nodded slightly. She walked to the dragon chair next to her and sat down. Everyone sit down. Everyone nodded. This summons was a private summons by the Emperor. Those who can be here are all high-ranking officials in the court. Wu Zhao's cold voice sounded in the hall. The reason why I urgently summoned you here is because something happened on the front line. Front line. Everyone was stunned when they heard it, and surprise appeared in their eyes. A month ago, the army of the Great Zhou went out to fight against the Qing dynasty. After all, the relationship between the two countries was so bad that it was impossible not to fight. Besides, the Great Zhou had money at this time and could fully withstand the consumption. In the past month, there has been almost no news about the war on the front line. I didn't expect that there would be movement on the front line again now. Yang Yi blinked. He became a little curious. Li Kunxiao was recommended by him to join the army, and he didn't know what was going on now. Wu Zhao held the memorial in her hand, and a cold light flashed in her phoenix eyes. Our army has fought the Qing dynasty three times and has a slight upper hand. But the Qing army is also very cunning, and their commander is no ordinary person. The Qing people simply defended the city and wanted to fight with my great Zhou. Although my great Zhou has money to support it, after all, fighting on their territory, if we want to keep fighting, it will be more disadvantageous for my great Zhou. But my great Zhou has fought with the enemy many times, and the enemy army retreated into the city when it was slightly at a disadvantage. In the long run, our army will be a little scarce. The most important thing is that the two armies have been fighting for a long time, and a large number of corpses have accumulated. In addition, it has been raining for more than 10 days. I don't know when the plague began to break out in the army. Although our army dealt with it in time, many soldiers have died of the plague. The commander-in-chief Haiki Chengji has asked me to temporarily withdraw the three armies. I summoned you here today to ask for your opinions. There was silence in the hall. Everyone looked shocked. They didn't expect that the front line would encounter so many things. The enemy took advantage of the geographical advantage and retreated. And the camp was about to have a plague. No wonder Haiki Chengji had to retreat temporarily. If this continued, it was obvious that there was no chance of winning this battle. But they were all experienced officials. In this situation, Haiki Chengji's judgment was correct and he should retreat first. But they also knew that the reason why the Empress asked for their opinions was that she was obviously unwilling to retreat like this. Everyone looked at each other. What else could they do if they didn't retreat? How could they have any opinions? If the plague spread or the war failed, they would be greatly derelict in their duties. No one could bear this responsibility. The palace was quite quiet. The blood vessels on Wu Zhao's forehead were beating faintly. These guys would crash to death every time they were needed. Her eyes became colder and she glanced at the officials. Everyone bowed their heads. The empress raised her eyebrows and was about to reprimand. Yang Yi suddenly stepped forward. Your majesty, I have a plan that may solve the current situation. Everyone was stunned and looked at Yang Yi with strange eyes. Will this kid have any dirty tricks again? Li Yifu frowned, feeling unhappy. Every time this kid comes out, it seems that their officials are incompetent. He couldn't help but said in a deep voice. Minister Yang, our army commander General Haiki Chengji is one of the most famous generals in our great Zhou. His judgment of war is incomparable. Even he has to retreat, the situation must be extremely tense. I know that Minister Yang has a lot of strategies, but you have never been on the battlefield, so don't make random suggestions. If it affects the situation of our army and leads to the failure of the war, can you bear the responsibility? Yang Yi smiled slightly. Minister Li, why don't you listen to my strategy first before speaking? Li Yifu was choked, and his face was gloomy and he didn't say anything, just looked at him coldly. Wu Zhao's eyes lit up. He was indeed her confidant, always able to stand up at the critical moment. She glared at Li Yifu. This Li Yifu was incompetent but talked a lot. 
Li Yifu's face became uglier and uglier, and he was jealous of Yang Yi. Wu Zhao focused her eyes on Yang Yi, holding the edge of the dragon chair with her right hand, sitting up slightly, and her cold and noble white face showed expectation. Please speak, Yang Qing. Yang Yi glanced at everyone and smiled. This plan of mine is a bit vicious. There is a plague in the camp, and the bodies must be disposed of. And the enemy army is staying in the city. In my opinion, we can let General Haiki Chengji order the bodies infected with the plague to be thrown into the city with catapults. In this way, the enemy soldiers in the city will only have two choices. One is to go out of the city to fight until we defeat our army. The second is to stay indoors and be affected by the plague, so that the whole city will be infected with the plague. He finished speaking. Everyone in the hall gasped and their scalps numbed. They all looked at Yang Yi in shock. Your plan is not only a bit vicious, but also extremely cruel. Throw the bodies infected with the plague into the enemy's city. You are really a fool. Xu Jingzong's wrinkled face trembled. He has already decided that he will be courteous to Yang Yi in the future. At his age, he just wants to retire safely. This kid is too cruel. Whoever offends him will be in trouble. Li Yifu didn't care about his jealousy at this moment, and his eyes showed horror. This plan is so vicious. Shang Wan Waner in the corner had a look of astonishment in her cold eyes. She never expected that Yang Yi, who looked elegant and easygoing, would come up with such a vicious plan. This was different from the previous plan to wipe out the whole family. That was to set up a trap to harm the enemy by crushing the enemy with strategies and intelligence. And Yang Yi's move of throwing the corpse was purely a trick. It was too insidious and vicious. I didn't expect that Yang Yi, who looked handsome and easygoing, would be so cruel. The hall was silent, and everyone seemed to be able to hear their own breathing. Wu Zhao's cold and noble face showed astonishment. Yang Yi's plan was far beyond her expectations. This was more than just vicious. It was simply too mean. Even though she was a little scalp-numbing. Even though Yang Yi was her minister, she couldn't help but feel a little fear in her heart. Such a terrible method, fortunately he was a minister of the great Zhou. She thought that if she really followed Yang Yi's instructions and threw the bodies infected with the plague into the city, the consequences would be unimaginable. Not to mention the enemy's army, even the people of the enemy country might be infected with the plague. Who knows, this trick might kill half of the people in the city. Wu Zhao was silent for a long time. Yang Cheng, isn't this trick a little? She hesitated for a while and said slowly. It's a little too cruel. If it gets out, it will be bad for the reputation of my great Zhou. Everyone in the hall nodded involuntarily. Not to mention the enemy, even those in the same camp were sweating just by listening to this trick. It's too cruel, Yang Yi said with a smile. Your Majesty, just tell me whether this trick works or not. This strategy kills two birds with one stone. It not only solves the problem that the corpse may infect our soldiers, but also solves the problem that the enemy cannot hide. Even if the enemy rushes out of the city, our army will catch the enemy off guard and it is very likely to win the battle. Wu Zhao was stunned and fell silent. Yang Yi is right. No matter how vicious it is, at least this strategy can really solve the enemy. The rest of the officials also fell silent. It must be said that they also admit that what Yang Yi said makes sense. Li Yifu swallowed his saliva and said quickly, Your Majesty, you must not do that. If you use this strategy, the reputation of my great Zhou will be ruined. Wu Zhao hesitated between her eyebrows. She also considered this point. Wu Zhao hesitated for a while and looked at Yang Yi. Yang Qing, do you have any other strategies? Everyone's eyes fell on Yang Yi. Yang Yi smiled slightly, with a transcendent temperament of being able to plan and win a battle thousands of miles away. Your Majesty, you have asked the right person. I do have other strategies. Wu Zhao's eyes lit up. As expected of the talent she favored as the king's assistant, he really has many strategies. Li Yifu was also stunned. This kid has so many strategies. Is he really a genius? The other officials were shocked and shocked. They couldn't think of a situation even if they racked their brains, but Yang Yi could easily contribute several strategies. This person is so annoying. They were directly crushed. Wu Zhao's majestic voice sounded. Please speak, Mr. Yang. Yang Yi smiled slightly in response to everyone's gaze. I think these people will definitely need water even though they are hiding in the city. 
because water is indispensable, so our army only needs to send out scouts to find the upstream of the water source near the enemy city, and put the bodies infected with the plague upstream of the water source. The plague will inevitably enter the enemy city with the river water. In this way, within a month, the enemy city will surely fall without a fight. Compared to throwing corpses, this plan is more obscure. Just find some people and quietly throw the bodies infected with the plague upstream of the river. Even if the enemy city is infected with the plague, no one will know that it was done by my great Joe. Silence. There was a dead silence in the hall. Everyone's eyelids were twitching, and their scalps were numb as they looked at Yang Yi with a smile on his face. Many people couldn't help but take a step back. They were shocked and stunned. This guy is too cruel. Even more cruel than throwing corpses just now. Throwing a few bodies, or even hundreds of bodies, will still take a long time to work on a city with a population of hundreds of thousands. After all, the plague also needs a way to spread. But, Yang Yi's move of throwing bodies upstream of the water source is too cruel. This move makes the enemy infected with the plague more than ten times faster. Water is a must for every household. A city with a large population needs to drink water every day, which is an incalculable amount of people. And if the water has an epidemic, the consequences. Everyone couldn't help but get goosebumps, and a chill rushed straight from the coccyx to the top of the head, and even the hair stood up. Too vicious. If it's serious, maybe the other party's city will be destroyed directly. Li Yifu's old face turned green, and his eyes twitched. He thought he was also a sinister person with sweet words and a sharp tongue. He didn't expect that compared with Yang Yi, he was nothing. Nima, this kid is asking for hundreds of thousands of lives. Shang Wan Waner bit her lip, her eyes complicated. She was shocked as if the sea was turning upside down. It took a long time to calm down. This strategy is not only poisonous, but also inhumane. On the dragon throne, Her Majesty the Empress's pretty face was full of complexity. Good news, Yang Yi really has other strategies. Bad news, this strategy is even more vicious. She smiled bitterly in her heart. There are many talents and counselors in the central plains, and there are many famous poisoners. But compared with Yang Yi, it is just a small witch meeting a big witch. This Yang Yi is simply a living devil. The palace was silent for a long time. Wu Zhao rubbed her eyebrows, feeling a little depressed. She glanced at the stiff-faced officials in the palace, and was speechless. There was a strategy to defeat the enemy, but it was too vicious. Even she, the emperor of the great Zhou, couldn't stand it. She was silent for a moment, and said slowly, I know. I will let someone tell Haiki Chengji about your two strategies. As for which one he will use, it depends on him. After all, the implementation of the strategy depends on the surrounding environment. Yang Yi smiled and said, Your Majesty is wise. Ten days later, at the border between Zhou and Qing, in a military camp, General, this is Your Majesty's secret letter. A guard hurried in and said respectfully. In the tent, Haiki Chengji, who was holding a military meeting, was stunned. He looked happy and said in a deep voice, Bring it here. The guard said yes and handed the memorial to Haiki Chengji. Haiki Chengji could not wait to open the envelope. The soldiers around him looked at Haiki Chengji expectantly. They had been tortured a lot during this period. The enemy seemed to know that there was a plague in their camp, so they simply stayed indoors and fought with them. They were a little overwhelmed now. It would be great if the Empress allowed them to evacuate first. Li Kunxiao was also among the soldiers. He had a calm face and was not surprised. He had the demeanor of a great general. After this period of time, he had successfully become one of the few generals in the camp with his outstanding performance on the battlefield. Just when everyone's eyes fell on Haiki Changji, the expression on Haiki Changji's dark face changed again and again. Finally, he put down the secret letter and his eyes became strange. He glanced at everyone. Your Majesty won't let us retreat. Ah, this. Everyone looked stunned and shocked. No one expected that the situation was so serious that the Empress would not let us retreat. For a moment, everyone was worried. Seeing everyone's faces, Haiki Chengji said helplessly. However, His Majesty gave us two strategies to defeat the enemy. The generals looked at each other and saw the bitterness in each other's eyes. Isn't this nonsense? His Majesty doesn't know the specific situation on the front line at all, how can he give advice? 
This so-called strategy is probably the imaginary strategy of those sour scholars. A general who has followed Haiki Chengji for many years couldn't help but say, General, what strategies can these civil servants in the court use? They haven't even touched a knife, let alone the real situation here. Strategies must be adapted to local conditions. They are thousands of miles away, and they are giving us strategies. Isn't this treating war as a joke? He had a hot temper and said everything he thought in his mind. Everyone nodded repeatedly. They thought so too. Yes, General, we are fighting hard here, with real swords and guns, and those Confucian scholars are commanding us. Humph, I think your majesty is deceived by these people, otherwise why would he not let us retreat? Yes, yes, a bunch of idiots, all coming up with some bullshit strategies. We are in a bad situation now. If there are more bullshit strategies, we will be finished. Quote dot 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 quote. There are many hot-tempered generals in the army, and they started to rant one by one. They have been quite depressed during this period, and their emotions were ignited at once. Haiki Chengji glanced at everyone, but did not blame them, but his expression became more and more weird. After a while, he coughed lightly. Okay, don't say anything. The soldiers stopped talking reluctantly, but their expressions were still ugly. Haiki Chengji glanced at Li Kunshao and said calmly, You can listen to the strategy first and then argue. The person who spoke first just now muttered again. What powerful strategy can there be? Maybe it's bullshit again. His words made everyone nod in agreement. Haiki Chengji glared at him. Jingji, shut up. Guo Jingji stopped helplessly, but his expression was still unconvinced, obviously he didn't believe that the group of stupid scholars could think of any amazing plan. Hei Kai Chengji held the secret letter, and his eyes showed a hint of complexity. There are two strategies in the letter, both of which can help our army break the siege, and even destroy the enemy army. As soon as he finished speaking, everyone's eyes fell on him. They didn't believe those sour scholars, but they trusted Hei Kai Chengji very much. What was the plan that Hei Kai Chengji thought was feasible? Everyone was suddenly curious. Hei Kai Chengji sighed, as if this strategy gave him a headache. The first strategy is to use a catapult to throw corpses infected with the plague into the city, so that the enemy army will definitely not be able to stay indoors. Silence. There was silence in the tent. The soldiers were stunned and stunned. They never expected that the first strategy that Hei Kai Chengji said would make them horrified and terrified. You know, all the people present are veterans of the battlefield. They know better than anyone what the consequences will be if these corpses are thrown into the city. When they thought of the horrific consequences, even the soldiers with blood on their hands felt cold in their hearts. Who came up with this vicious plan? It's too vicious. Haiki Chengji took in the faces of the people inside. The second strategy is to send scouts to find water sources near the city and throw the bodies infected with the plague into the upper reaches of the water source. This city will be broken within a month. Everyone's hair was about to explode, and they looked at Haiki Chengji in shock, their eyes widened like copper bells. They couldn't help but take a breath of cold air, their hearts were like a raging sea, they had goosebumps all over their bodies, their hair stood up, and a chill ran straight up from the soles of their feet. In broad daylight, this strategy made them feel an unprecedented chill. It's more than just the city breaking. I guess all the people inside are going to be screwed. This is ten times more vicious than the previous plan. It's too vicious, it's simply inhumane. The tent was quiet for a while. Guo Jingji couldn't help but ask, General, who proposed this plan? Everyone nodded, still with lingering fear on their faces. They were also very curious, who came up with such an inhumane and vicious plan? Haiki Chengji was silent for a while, then slowly said, Zongshu Shilang, Yang Yi. The tent suddenly became quiet. Everyone was stunned, with shock in their eyes. It turned out to be this Lord Yang. They had long heard of Yang Yi's name. After all, the golden juice was spread like wildfire in the army. What's more, this Lord Yang also led the subsequent Yang scam, deceiving the Qing people, and was in the limelight. I didn't expect that such a vicious plan came from him. However, combined with the previous plan, this vicious plan seems to be of the same style. It's worthy of this lord. This plan is vicious. Everyone was quite emotional, and subconsciously glanced at Li Kunshao next to him. Wasn't Li Kunshao recommended by Yang Yi? 
Guo Jingji said in a deep voice, General, since there is a plan, which one should we adopt? Everyone looked at Haiki Chengji. This plan is there, but it is too vicious. If it is really used, his reputation may be damaged. Haiki Chengji gritted his teeth. The Empress did not let him retreat, didn't she want him to destroy the enemy? She also gave him two vicious plans, the hint was too obvious. When a minister is a minister, he has to take the blame. He took a deep breath. Let's use the first plan. Starting from tonight, we must take down the enemy as soon as possible. After they defeated the enemy, they had to take over the city. If they used the second plan, they could only get a plague city, which was really not worth it. Everyone was shocked. Yes, General, Yu Chang. A magnificent mansion. A burly man in casual clothes was drinking from a wine pot. This man was Qianlong's favorite general Niu Hulu Nechen. When Yang Yi went to the capital of Qing before, it was Nechen who sent people to monitor the envoys of the great Zhou. But in the end, they all ran away with the money right under his nose, which made Qianlong so angry that he vomited blood. When the great Zhou and the Qing dynasty went to war, Nianchen was sent by Qianlong to make amends for his crime. However, the black-toothed Chengji of the great Zhou was not an ordinary general, so they were deadlocked here. However, since he knew that there was a plague in the enemy camp, Nianchen's heart was as stable as a mountain. As long as he could hold on, the other side would not be able to hold on. At that time, he would lead his troops to break through the enemy camp in one fell swoop. Nianchen grabbed a handful of fried rice, drank two sips of strong liquor, and smacked his lips. This life is too comfortable. Da da da, the sound of hurried footsteps sounded. Lord Nianchen, a guard ran in hurriedly, his face pale. Nianchen glanced at him sideways, frowned his thick eyebrows, and scolded. What a panic, what a disgrace. The guard swallowed his saliva and whispered. Sir, there is an enemy attack. The candlelight flickered in the room, and Nianchen's face was quite ruddy under the light. Nianchen was a little tipsy, and he couldn't help but wave his hand and sneered when he heard it. Yu Chung is quite strong, they want to attack at night. Then let them do it. He was originally holding a delaying policy, and the other party wanted to launch a sneak attack more than once or twice. The guard's forehead was sweating. Sir, this time is different. They threw the bodies infected with plague into the city with a catapult. Pa, Nianchen's hand trembled, and the wine bottle fell to the ground and shattered. His tipsy eyes suddenly sobered up, and his face was very pale under the light. Nianchen's shocked voice was almost distorted. What did you say? They threw the bodies in. The guard nodded repeatedly. Boom, Nianchen's head seemed to explode, buzzing. He gulped, swallowed his saliva, and suddenly jumped up from the chair. Quick, take me to see. Yes, the guard said hurriedly. A moment later, Nianchen changed into a military uniform and quickly came to the top of the city. At this time, the tower was full of corpses. These corpses were purple in color, mottled everywhere, and looked hideous and terrifying. They were definitely not corpses of normal death. The other party really sent corpses infected with the plague to their city. Nianchen's eyes went dark and he almost fainted. These Zhou people are too cruel. They actually came up with such a dirty trick. It's just a living hell. He roared immediately. Come on, everyone, drag these corpses away. These corpses infected with the plague must be dragged to a deserted wilderness immediately and then burned collectively with fire. If they are left here for a long time, once the plague infects his army. That's it. After Nechen finished speaking, the soldiers around him were terrified. These are corpses infected with the plague. Who dares to touch these corpses? The blood vessels on Nechen's forehead jumped. He had been drinking leisurely these days and neglected military discipline. He didn't expect that these guys were a little disobedient. He pulled out the knife next to him, and the blade was sharp. Whoever dares to retreat will be punished by military law. The soldiers trembled, but under Nekin's angry glare, they could only bite the bullet and rush over to move the corpses. Seeing the soldiers take action, Nechen was relieved. If the plague spreads in the city, he will be finished. It's okay to lose the battle. With his status in the emperor's heart, he will be scolded at most. But if the whole people are infected with the plague and countless deaths and injuries are caused, it will be a serious crime. At this time, the efficiency of the great Joe is getting higher and higher. 
A large number of corpses infected with the plague were thrown in. Nekin's forehead was throbbing with blood vessels, and he was furious. If this goes on, their tower will be filled with plague corpses. He gritted his teeth and made a prompt decision. Pass my order, open the city gate immediately, and kill these fools Joe soldiers for me. If they don't fight with the Joe army and destroy them first, I'm afraid they will be poisoned to death by these corpses that keep pouring in. Let's drive away those disgusting Joe soldiers first. Every move of the Qing army was under the surveillance of Haiki Chengji. Seeing the enemy open the city gate, Haiki Chengji was immediately delighted. These cowards finally came out. Pass on my order, prepare to fight. Yes, the soldiers next to him were shocked and said in a deep voice. After an incense stick, the tense Qing soldiers tortured by the plague corpses rushed out with their tired bodies. And they were greeted by the wolf-like and tiger-like Dajo soldiers. These Dajo soldiers have been suppressed for too long. When the Qing soldiers were hiding in the city, they were troubled by the plague. Now seeing these Qing soldiers, they are naturally jealous. Kill, the Da Zhou soldiers rushed to kill, and they were furious. Li Kunxiao took the lead with a long sword in his hand. In the blink of an eye, he killed more than a dozen enemies. Wherever he passed, blood flowed like a river. The Qing soldiers had lived quite comfortably these days, so much so that they were still somewhat depressed after being awakened by the night raid. In addition, the throwing of plague corpses gave them great psychological pressure. Now facing the wolf-like and tiger-like great Zhou soldiers, they were actually somewhat defeated. In the distance, Haiki Chengji had a serious expression, but his eyes were full of joy. He waved his hand, let the cavalry encircle them from both sides, attack them from the front and back, and cut off their retreat. Yes, the deputy generals beside him said in a deep voice. A moment later, a cavalry rushed out quickly and stabbed into the enemy's sides like a blade. The formation of the Qing army collapsed instantly. Half an hour later, Yu Cheng was broken. Three days later, Jinluan Palace, Your Majesty, are you more comfortable now? Empress Xiaoshanchun, Fu Cha, who was wearing a red and gold phoenix robe, smiled and massaged the head of the man in front of her. Qianlong closed his eyes slightly and said slowly, Not bad, your skills have improved a lot. Fu Cha's eyes flashed with pride, and she was about to speak. Suddenly, a hurried sound of footsteps sounded. Your Majesty. Fu Cha Fu Heng appeared in front of the two. Fu Cha's frown relaxed, but she still pretended to be unhappy. Fu Heng, you are in a hurry and disturb the Emperor. What crime should you be punished for? Fu Cha Fu Heng was not afraid, after all, Empress Xiaoshanchun was his sister. He knew that his sister said this deliberately to reduce Qianlong's dissatisfaction with his offensive behavior. If it were normal days, Fu Cha Fu Heng should cooperate with his sister to apologize at this time. But now, he didn't have that idea. He hurriedly said to Qianlong, Your Majesty, something happened on the front line. What? Qianlong, who had just closed his eyes, suddenly opened his eyes and looked at Fu Cha Fu Heng with a look of astonishment. Fu Cha was surprised at this time and stopped massaging. Qianlong's face was not looking good. What happened? Fu Cha Fuang took a deep breath and smiled bitterly. Nianchen was defeated, and the Zhou soldiers captured Yu Cheng in one fell swoop. What? Qianlong's eyes shrank, his face was as black as the bottom of a pot, he clenched his fists and said angrily, how is it possible? I gave Nianchen enough troops, and he has Yu Cheng behind him, how could he be defeated? Fu Cha Fuang sighed and told the news he had received. The Zhou soldiers threw the bodies of people who died of plague into the city. Nianchen had no choice but to go out of the city to fight, but he encountered an attack that the Zhou army had prepared for. He was soon attacked and captured. The hall was suddenly quiet. Qianlong's hand holding the chair was blue with veins, his eyes widened, full of shock. Throwing bodies infected with plague into the city. It's so cruel. His scalp was numb and goose bumps appeared all over his body. A chill rushed straight up from the soles of his feet to his heart. Is this something a human can do? Fu Cha, who was standing next to him, was also pale. She was just a woman who stayed in the palace. How could she have heard of such a cruel thing? This was too cruel. Fu Cha Fu Heng was also a little helpless. The enemy's plan was too sinister and vicious. He smiled bitterly and said, I heard that this plan was done by Yang Yi. It's him again. 
This fool is so insidious and cunning. Qianlong's eyes suddenly widened, and his face, which was originally pale, turned ashen at this time. He clenched his fists. He hated Yang Yi to the bone and wanted to tear Yang Yi apart. Because of what Yang Yi did before, he hadn't slept well for many days. Now he heard that Yang Yi had used a plan to seize a city from him again. Qianlong was so angry that he almost vomited blood, and his eyes were black. This is, is Yang Yi his nemesis? This guy has ruined several things. No wonder this plan is so cruel, it must be Yang Yi. This guy has always been inhuman. Fu Cha Fu Heng said cautiously. Your Majesty, the enemy army seems to still have a tendency to invade, what should we do? Qianlong was furious, his dark eyes were full of bloodshot. Of course, continue to fight. I don't believe that Yang Yi's strategy can be used a second time. Where is a Gui, call him. One day, I will catch this Yang Yi and skin him alive. Tang Dynasty. The Qing people actually lost. Li Shimin stroked his beard, a little surprised. Cheng Sun Wuji smiled bitterly. I had the same reaction when I heard the news. But the fact is, even their commander, Qianlong's military minister Niu Hulu Nechen, was captured. Li Jing, Hu Junji, Fang Xuanling and others beside him were a little confused. Although Zhou was not a small country, it should not be as strong as Qing in terms of national strength. How could it beat Qing? Li Shimin frowned, a little puzzled. It shouldn't be. The Jurchens are brave and good at fighting. Even I can't underestimate their iron pagoda. How long did it take to lose a city this time? Qing's military minister Niu Hulu Nechen, it seems that he shouldn't be so stupid. Cheng Sun Wuji's face showed a strange look. Your Majesty, the reason why they lost so quickly is because the Zhou people used a vicious strategy. Li Shimin narrowed his eyes. Oh, a vicious strategy. What kind of strategy could allow the Zhou people to defeat the Qing people so easily? Fang Xuanling, Du Ruhui and others were also curious. Fang Xuanling frowned and analyzed. One side has a city to defend, and the other side has a camp. The Zhou people should not be able to outlast the Qing people. If the Qing army has a city to defend, what can the Zhou people do to them? Li Jing, Hu Junji, Cheng Yaojin and others beside him also nodded. Cheng Yaojin scratched his head. Duke Zhao, please stop keeping us in suspense. Tell us what the evil plot is. I have fought in battles all my life, but I have never seen anyone lose so quickly. Even the city and the main general were captured by the enemy. This is too outrageous. Cheng Sun Wuji smiled bitterly, facing the eyes of everyone, and finally looked at Li Shimin and said slowly. Your Majesty, Niu Hulu Nechen was backed by the strong city and did not come out, so it was originally peaceful. However, there was a plague in the Zhou army camp, and the Zhou army actually threw the bodies of soldiers infected with the plague into the city. In panic, Niu Hulu Nechen hurried out of the city to meet the enemy. However, the Zhou people did this to force Niu Hulu Nechen to fight. His coming out now is exactly what the Zhou people want. So Niu Hulu Nechen was defeated quickly without any intention. He finished speaking. The Taiji Hall was almost eerie in silence. All the high officials of the Tang Dynasty were shocked. Even veterans such as Li Jing and Hu Junji gasped. Li Shimin's eyes widened, full of shock. He swallowed his saliva and said with some difficulty. You mean, the Zhou people actually dumped corpses into the city? Or a group of corpses infected with plague? Cheng Sun Wuji nodded. The information is accurate. Li Shimin's scalp was numb. He started to fight in his teens and was invincible on the battlefield. Even heroes like Wang Shichong and Dou Zhan were not his opponents. He was also considered a top general in the world. But it was the first time I saw such a vicious way of fighting. This strategy is too vicious. Fang Xuanling, Du Ruhui and others were stunned. They were just thinking about what strategy the Zhou people used to make the Qing people lose so quickly. They didn't expect that it would be such a vicious and poisonous scheme. It was really creepy. Cheng Yaojin swallowed his saliva. These Zhou people are so vicious. Li Shimin rubbed his eyebrows. Who came up with this plan? There are such vicious people in the Zhou army. The war between Zhou and Qing this time is not only of great concern to the people of the two countries but also to their neighbors. After all, the Central Plains has not been at war for many years. Now they are basically fighting against foreigners, and the Central Plains is basically in a state of peace. 
and the Qing and Zhou countries are fighting for the first time in more than 10 years. Although this vicious plan is cruel, it must be said that it is indeed very effective and can be said to be a plan to defeat the enemy. Li Shimin was very curious. Everyone's eyes also fell on Cheng Sun Wuji, and they were also a little curious. People who can come up with such a vicious plan are definitely not ordinary people. Is there a master in the Zhou army? Fang Xuanling frowned. Did Duke Zhao find out who this person is? Cheng Yaojin also hurriedly asked curiously. Yes, I, old Cheng, would like to know which guy is so cruel. Cheng Sun Wuji stroked his beard and smiled bitterly. Don't guess, the strategist who came up with this plan is also an acquaintance. It is Yang Yi, the secretary of the Zhou state. Silence. There was silence in the hall. Fang Xuanling, Du Ruhui, Wei Zheng and others were stunned with shock. It turned out to be him. Li Shimin's eyelids jumped, with shock and a bitter smile in his eyes. This plan turned out to be his handiwork, that makes sense. This kid is ruthless, and a rare genius. No wonder he can come up with such an unexpected, ruthless and cruel plan. Everyone in the hall nodded subconsciously. This Yang Yi is really cruel. First he tricked a group of Qing people, and now he directly released the poisoned corpse. Looking all over the world, the only one who has such a vicious plan is Yang Yi, the minister of Zhou. The hall was quiet for a while. Li Shimin sighed. What a genius, but it's a pity that he is an enemy. Everyone nodded with frowns, and they were extremely vigilant against Yang Yi. If they really had to confront Yang Yi one day, the psychological pressure is too great. No matter how sinister his plan is, it can only sow discord at best. This guy directly threw the poisonous corpse. I have seen many living bodhisattvas, but this is the first time I have seen a living king of hell. Ming Dynasty. This is Yang Yi, his methods are cruel enough. But, it suits my taste. Bi hour, you are almost cruel. If you can learn half of Yang Yi's methods, I will feel relieved to hand over the country to you. Zhu Yuanzhong narrowed his eyes and threw the memorial in his hand on the table. He certainly paid attention to the war between Qing and Zhou. With the intelligence ability of Jin Yue, they quickly figured out the reason why Qing was defeated so quickly. But compared with Li Shimin, Zhu Yuanzhong thought Yang Yi's strategy was fine. It was a bit cruel. But, in war, the winner is the king and the loser is the enemy. Zhu Biao smiled bitterly and was speechless. Recently, he has heard this name from his father a lot. Qin Dynasty. Li Si, if Qin were to fight against Zhou, what chance would we have of winning if we met a counselor like Yang Yi? Ying Zheng closed his eyes slightly, as if asking an insignificant question. Li Si frowned, then relaxed. We have famous generals Wang Jian, Wang Ben, Meng Tian, and millions of Qin cavalry, as well as countless talents. It's easy to deal with a mere Yang Yi. Really, Ying Zheng said lightly, what would you do if you encountered such a vicious plan? Li was speechless. Ying Zheng did not expect this minister to give a satisfactory answer. He raised his head slightly and said slowly, those who achieve great things do not care about trivial matters. This man is one of the top counselors in the world. It would be a pity if he could not be used by me. He alone can be worth ten armies. Li Si was shocked, and his heart was like a sea of overturned, full of shock. I didn't expect His Majesty to have such a high evaluation of Yang Yi. Great Zhou, good news, Your Majesty, good news has come. Shang Wan Waner was holding an urgent report from the front line, and she ran in hurriedly with joy. All the ministers in the palace were stunned and looked at each other. Good news, good news came from the battlefield so soon. Didn't you want to retreat a while ago? Wu Zhao was stunned, and immediately took the letter from Shang Wan Waner, opened it and saw the words, the enemy's city has been broken. She was happy, and her eyebrows were more excited. Haiki Chengji used a catapult to throw the bodies infected with plague into the enemy's city. The enemy was forced to go out of the city to fight and was ambushed by Haiki Chengji. After that, our army broke through the enemy's Yucheng and captured the enemy's main general Niu Hulu Nechen. Hiss. Everyone took a breath. They were shocked and cast their eyes on Yang Yi, who seemed to be fine. They never thought that Yang Yi's strategy would be so useful. This strategy was sent over only a few days ago. The city was captured. Li Yifu was so jealous that his teeth were broken. How long has it been? Yang Yi has made another contribution. 
Shang Wan Waner also looked at Yang Yi with admiration, her cold eyes moving. Wu Zhao's rosy lips curled up, and her phoenix eyes were full of smiles. This was the first great victory of the Great Zhou in the Foreign War, and even the enemy's city was captured, which can be regarded as expanding the territory. She was quite excited. Since the founding of the Great Zhou by her father, there has never been such a beautiful battle. Wu Zhao smiled at Yang Yi. Yang Cheng, you have made great contributions. You should be the first in this war against Cheng. Tell me, if you have anything you want, just tell me. Everyone looked at Yang Yi with envy. What is honor and favor? What is the emperor's heart? This is it. The emperor opened his mouth and asked Yang Yi to ask for a reward. This was said in public. The emperor never jokes. Even if Yang Yi said he wanted to marry the princess at this time, the empress would probably not refuse. The officials looked at Yang Yi with envy and jealousy. Yang Yi has been in the officialdom for less than a year. How high has he been promoted? He has walked the path of others in a lifetime in one year. The extreme emotions in Li Yifu's heart were like a poisonous snake gnawing at his heart. Originally, he was a favorite in front of the empress, but now his position is no longer secure. He gritted his teeth and said, Your Majesty, Minister Yang defeated the enemy with a brilliant plan, I admire you. But the plan was cruel after all, and the bodies discarded were the bodies of our own soldiers. As the saying goes, the dead are buried in peace, but their bodies were destroyed in the enemy city because of this vicious plan. If you still reward Minister Yang generously, wouldn't it be suspected of encouraging this trend? Then wouldn't my Zhou dynasty be cruel and ruthless? Please think twice, your majesty. This time he learned his lesson. Knowing that the empress valued Yang Yi, this time he directly led the harm to the national level. No matter what, he had to stop it, otherwise Yang Yi would run over his head. Everyone looked at Yang Yi with strange eyes when they heard it. Although Li Yifu's move was a bit sinister, it had to be said that it made sense. This vicious plan was too cruel, so cruel that they, the Zhou people, felt a little scared. The Empress frowned slightly and gave Li Yifu a look with some displeasure. Just as she was about to speak, she suddenly heard Yang Yi smile. Li Shangshu's words make sense. Everyone was stunned when they heard this. Is Yang Yi so angry that he is confused? Still speaking for Li Yifu. But it is understandable. If someone blocks his promotion and wealth, anyone would fight for it. Wu Zhao was also startled. She frowned slightly and looked at Yang Yi in silence. Li Yifu didn't expect that Yang Yi would not argue and agreed with him. He was a little confused for a while. This victory seems to come too fast. Just as everyone was looking at Yang Yi with different expressions. He bowed to the Empress again. But I have never thought of asking for a reward from the beginning to the end. It was the soldiers of our great Zhou who defeated the Qing dynasty, faced the plague, and bravely captured the enemy city. How dare Yang claim to be the first meritorious? And the bodies of the soldiers who died of the plague should also be the first meritorious. Your Majesty, I dare to ask Your Majesty to build a martyr's steel forest for these soldiers who died for the country, and engrave their names on the steel, so that future generations can remember and commemorate them. As soon as his voice fell, the hall, which was a little restless because of his words, suddenly calmed down. Many officials present were shocked and shocked. It's incredible. He actually gave such an opportunity to be promoted to a group of mud legs. And old oilers like Xu Jingzong who have been in the officialdom for decades nodded slightly in admiration. What is the art of language? This is it. The group of soldiers infected with the plague did not go to the battlefield, so they could not make any contribution. In fact, the final result was that they were burned to prevent the spread of the plague. And now, because of Yang Yi's strategy, their bodies were reused to create a victory. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that Yang Yi is the first contributor. But Yang Yi said that those soldiers who died of the plague died for the country, and they are the first contributors. This language art is directly full. It is obvious that the only outcome of being infected with the plague is to be burned, but in the end it became, die for the country. Three or two sentences change the fundamental nature of a matter. It also slapped Li Yifu hard. Didn't you say that the bodies of the soldiers were destroyed? I said it was for the country. Compared with the two, the difference is obvious. Xu Jingzong and others can see it, and Li Yifu can of course. His face turned slightly green, and he regretted that he was too impulsive just now. 
Now being put up by Yang Yi, he seems to have a low level. Shang Wan Waner bit her lip. She was a little worried about Yang Yi just now, but now she realized that he was worthy of being Minister Yang. Li Yifu's shallow method of throwing dirty water was completely vulnerable in front of Minister Yang. Wu Zhao raised her eyebrows slightly, a little surprised. Unexpectedly, Yang Yi never thought of asking for credit for herself. She admired Yang Yi more and more in her heart. In this world, there are too many smart people who are ruthless and righteous, but there are too few people who are passionate and kind. A top counselor like Yang Yi, who can consider those dead soldiers, is really a peerless national talent. Those soldiers who died of the plague, if there is no accident, at most give some pensions and inform their families. But Yang Yi proposed to establish a steel forest, which is different. Not only is it meritorious, but it can also be recorded in history. The more Her Majesty looked at Yang Yi, the more satisfied she was. Knowing the limits, knowing when to advance and retreat, having talent, being able to serve the king and observe the people's sentiments, except that his strategies are somewhat vicious, this is a talent that you can't find even with a lantern. She pursed her lips with a faint smile, and her magnetic voice full of imperial majesty sounded in the hall. I will not forget these soldiers who died for the country. I will have people carve a martyr's monument in Luoyang and engrave their names on it. Their parents and families will enjoy a large amount of pensions from the court, and if their children want to join the army, they will have more opportunities for promotion in the future. Yang Yi smiled slightly. Your majesty is wise. Wu Zhao smiled. But you don't need to be modest, your contributions are obvious to all. I will not ignore any meritorious minister. However, your title will be promoted to county earl, and you will also be awarded the title of right assistant minister of the Ministry of War. Yang Yi was stunned. He didn't expect that the empress would still promote him. He then said, Thank you, your majesty. The officials of the great Zhou dynasty around were all dumbfounded. Yang Yi took credit for himself and asked for credit for the soldiers, but the empress still promoted him. And once the martyr's steel forest is established, the families of those soldiers will definitely be grateful to Yang Yi. Wasn't his reputation reversed? They looked at Li Yifu, whose face turned green and white, with strange expressions. This minister Li had just secretly belittled Minister Yang, but Minister Yang used a little trick to kill two birds with one stone, not three, because he also humiliated Li Yifu. Li Yifu was furious at the strange looks of the crowd, but he was helpless and almost vomited blood. At this moment, Yang Yi turned around and smiled at him. Minister Li, now you are not considered a bad influence, right? Swish. Everyone's eyes fell on Li Yifu. Li Yifu's face turned livid, then black, and finally purple. His lips trembled, and he almost squeezed out a few words. Not counted. I was overthinking. Hiss. Everyone was shocked. Li Yifu admitted that he was wrong in front of Yang Yi. He put Li Yifu on the fire and forced him to admit defeat. Li Yifu's rank was higher than Yang Yi's, but he admitted his mistake in public. The dignity of this superior was completely shattered. This Yang Shilang was really cruel. He took revenge on the spot. They looked at Yang Yi with a little more awe. Half an hour later, the officials left Qianyuan Hall. Yang Yi found a corner and opened the system panel. Host, Yang Yi, poisoner value, 91,236. Yang Yi was stunned. He didn't expect that a wave of corpse poisoning schemes would directly increase his poisoner value by nearly 90,000. This wave is really a big profit. He was a little happy in his heart, and immediately clicked on the lottery without hesitation. The lottery is addictive, especially when he is lucky. Ding. Consume 90,000 poisoner value and start the lottery. Closing square bracket. The system prompt sound flashed by. Countless prizes appeared in the rectangular prize pool, and the light was intertwined and shining. After a while, a series of reward prompt sounds rang. Ding. Congratulations to the host for winning the Fergana Horse 1. Ding. Congratulations to the host for winning the Policewoman Cosplay Costume 1. Ding. Congratulations to the host for winning the Diamond Ring 10. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Gunpowder Manufacturing Technology. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Black Silk 10. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Lubricant 10. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining physical strength improvement. Ding. 
Congratulations to the host for obtaining endurance improvement. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the character summoning card, Shu Chu. Yang Yi glanced at these prizes, his heart moved, and his eyes lit up. Although the other rewards are good, they are far inferior to gunpowder. I didn't expect that I would actually draw at this time. The development of gunpowder in history took a lot of time, energy and even lives. Even though he is now in a high position, he doesn't know how long it will take to prepare stable gunpowder. And now I have directly drawn the integrated and perfected gunpowder technology. This wave of blood profit. Minister Yang. Yang Yi was happy when a voice came to his ear. He was stunned, and turned around to see the figure of Wu Mingyu's personal maid Wame. Wame bowed respectfully. Minister Yang, the princess invites you. After a while, Shu Yu Palace, is there anything the princess wants to ask? Yang Yi said with a smile. He was in a good mood after winning a lot of prizes. Wu Mingyu curled her lips. HMPH, it's the same female reader who wrote to you last time. She wrote a bunch of letters and sent them to the newspaper office. Why don't you come and take them away? I have to bring them to you. It's so annoying. Yang Yi was stunned, and then remembered. Since the, Da Zhou Bao, became popular, it has even accumulated some readers from other countries. Especially, Dream of Red Mansions, and, Romance of the West Chamber, are very attractive to female readers. So is the author of, Dream of Red Mansions, and, Romance of the West Chamber, there are many female fans who write to him. But he basically just doesn't read them, but there is one female reader who is very unusual. She claims to be from the Qin state, but does not reveal her specific identity. Her calligraphy is first class, and her language and conversation obviously show that she has received a very high education. In addition, he found clues from the preciousness of the envelope and letter paper, and concluded that this woman should be the daughter of a powerful family in Qin. So he wrote a perfunctory reply. Unexpectedly, this woman was very interested and wrote to him continuously from then on. Yang Yi occasionally replied and asked her questions to understand Qin and the Qin Emperor Ying Zheng. After learning a lot of information about Qin from this woman, Yang Yi replied faster. After a few exchanges, the two became pen pals. He was busy with government affairs recently and ignored this letter. Unexpectedly, many letters were sent, and all of them went to Wu Mingyu. Yang Yi curled his lips. Thank you, princess. Wu Mingyu saw the smile on his lips, and her heart was sour for no reason, and then a wave of resentment surged into her heart. She snorted. Look at your smug look, don't be too happy too soon, maybe this woman is a 200-pound fat man. She didn't even notice that the sour taste in her words almost overflowed. Yang Yi couldn't help laughing. This Wu Han Han is really cute sometimes. He blinked. Your Highness, are you worried that I'll meet the wrong person? Wu Mingyu raised her head proudly. He he, why would I worry about you? I see. Yang Yi nodded pretending to understand, then your highness is jealous. Wu Mingyu's black and white eyes widened when she heard this, and her face was full of disbelief. Her fair and tender skin was slightly rosy, and she stammered. Hum, jealous. How could I be jealous? Don't talk nonsense. Ha, huh, how could I be jealous of you? You are such a self-indulgent fool. Yang Yi said with a smile without comment. Your highness didn't peek at my letter, did you? Ha, huh, Wu Mingyu looked at him with disbelief, pointed at herself with her slender fingers, and her rosy lips moved, you don't think I like you, do you? How could I peek at your letter? What you said to that woman is none of my business. Ha, huh, I don't have the hobby of peeking at other people's letters. Her fair face was flushed, her eyes were a little erratic, and she didn't dare to look Yang Yi in the eye. But she thought again, she really hadn't read Yang Yi's letter. Although she wanted to read it at first, she didn't read it in the end. What should she feel guilty about? Thinking of this, Wu Mingyu became confident again, her full chest rose and fell, obviously she was very angry about Yang Yi's slander. Yang Yi curled his lips. I just said that, your highness, don't react so strongly. If you don't know, you would think you read it. Wu Mingyu raised her eyebrows, looking unhappy. This guy is getting more and more annoying. Humph, I must write a few harsh words about him later. Yang Yi didn't care about Wu Mingyu's expression and touched his chin. How is the sales of Da Zhou Bao now? Wu Mingyu finally suppressed her inner resentment, 
and heard Yang Yi's words and snorted. As the vice president, do you still care about the sales of Da Zhou Bao? I haven't seen you since the first issue. Yang Yi looked straight ahead, righteous and awe-inspiring. Your Highness, what you said is wrong. Although I am not in the newspaper, my heart is here. These, Dream of Red Mansions, and Romance of the West Chamber, are the works of my painstaking efforts. Your Highness, don't you know that I go to bed at midnight every day and get up before dawn, isn't it just to write these works to help the newspaper increase sales? These days, I am exhausted and even my hair has turned white. I didn't expect that Your Highness would misunderstand me. Wu Mingyu felt guilty when she heard this. She knew how great, Dream of Red Mansions, and Romance of the West Chamber, were. Every time she saw Yang Yi take out the manuscript easily, she subconsciously thought it was easy. Now that she thought about it, it was impossible not to spend time on such a work. As an official appointed by the court, Yang Yi was willing to spend time every day to help his newspaper, which was indeed quite rare. She actually blamed him, which was really wrong. She pursed her lips and looked at Yang Yi with some guilt. As a result, I saw Yang Yi, who couldn't help laughing and couldn't suppress the smile on his face. Wu Ming Yu, okay, 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 you've been fooled by this guy again, right? She stamped her feet in anger, her plump and fair chest trembled, and she glared at Yang Yi fiercely. You, you're so bad. Yang Yi's mouth twitched. Wu Ming Yu's words didn't sound like scolding at all, but rather like flirting. Wu Mingyu probably realized that she wasn't scolding at all, but was just acting like a spoiled child with her lover. Her fair and pretty face flushed, as if she had been smeared with a light layer of rouge. She pouted her lips, snorted, and pretended to be calm. Now the sales of Da Zhou Bao can reach 200,000 copies per issue in Luoyang. As for other places, it is probably about 700,000 to 800,000 copies, and a considerable part of them are contributed by nearby neighboring countries. However, even if more than 10 issues have been published, there are still many people running to the newspaper office to buy the first and second issues of the newspaper. Yang Yi nodded without any surprise. The speed of information transmission in this era is obviously far inferior to that of later generations. Here, Da Zhou Bao, has been published for nearly 10 issues, but there are still many people in many places who have not read the first issue. This is the information gap. Therefore, the West will produce birth. However, no matter what, this also proves the popularity of Da Zhou Bao from the side. Next, we may be able to open branches of Da Zhou Bao in various parts of Da Zhou and establish branches in the capitals of other countries. Yang Yi snapped his fingers. Wu Mingyu blinked. It's no problem to open a newspaper in my great Zhou. It's probably not that easy to open one in another country. Yang Yi knew this, of course, and just smiled. Try it first. If it fails, it doesn't matter. At least we should maximize the influence of the great Zhou newspaper in the great Zhou. Set a small goal to double the sales of the great Zhou newspaper next month. Wu Mingyu was dumbfounded, her rosy lips could hardly close, and Yang Yi could even see the pink tongue in her mouth. Double it, she frowned, how is this possible? Yang Yi was full of confidence, why is this impossible? I have a plan, if used well, the sales of Da Zhou Bao may double, not to mention double it, it may even double several times. Wu Mingyu blinked and said foolishly, what plan? Yang Yi met her curious eyes and said seriously, the time has not come yet. Wu Mingyu. The blood vessels on her forehead jumped, I really want to punch Yang, who kept it a secret. After an incense stick, Yang Yi left. Wu Mingyu was the only one left in Shuyu Palace. Wu Mingyu snorted, pulled out a thin booklet from her drawer, and then took out a pen and ink. She opened the booklet, dipped the brush in ink, pondered for a moment, and began to write. Miss Wu Xiaoyu, who is recognized as a rare genius and the most beautiful person in the world, is proficient in calculating human nature, knows astronomy and geography, and can be regarded as the best strategy master in ancient and modern times. With both outstanding beauty and amazing talent, she is a rare strategist in a hundred years, no, a rare one in a thousand years, no, a rare one in ten thousand years. And she has such an outstanding appearance and talent, but also has a royal bloodline that countless people envy and respect. She is a great the younger sister of Queen Zhou and the most trusted minister of Her Majesty. 
after using a series of poisonous schemes to easily make the enemy of the surrounding Qing kingdom, which coveted the great Zhou, suffer a great loss, her only servant, Yang Duya, who was lazier than a pig, dumber than a dog, lazy, greedy, lustful, and liked to see big breasts, was full of admiration and sighed from the bottom of his heart, her highness is worthy of being the most beautiful strategist in ancient and modern times, planning and winning thousands of miles away, she is simply the most intelligent beauty in the world. When writing here, Wu Mingyu couldn't help but bend her eyes into a crescent, and her slender and delicate calves couldn't help but lift up and down in her skirt, and the white calves were looming in the swaying of the skirt. She bit the pen and continued to write. Princess Wu Xiaoyu, the most beautiful counselor in history, did not take the flattering servant's praise to heart. Instead, she founded the unprecedented, Da Zhou Bao, which set off a reading craze among the people, trying to control public opinion to help her sister consolidate her rule. She also wrote the popular, Dream of Red Mansions, and, Romance of the West Chamber, to increase the sales of, Da Zhou Bao, which made her servant Yang Dia, who was as stupid as a pig and as dumb as a dog, admire her and even secretly admire her. The outstanding sales of, Da Zhou Bao, attracted countless bees and butterflies. Noblemen from various countries fell at the feet of the princess, who was unparalleled in the world, with both intelligence and beauty. This made her servant Yang Duya, who was lazier than a pig, dumber than a dog, lazy, greedy for money, and liked to see big breasts, jealous. But how could the noble, beautiful, intelligent and talented princess like Yang Duya, a servant who was lazier than a pig, dumber than a dog, lazy, greedy, and liked to see big breasts. She coldly rejected Yang Duya's love, which made her poor servant Yang Duya burst into tears and in great pain. However, the princess, the most beautiful woman in the empire, was obviously not an ordinary woman who indulged in love. She had a great and grand ambition to make, Da Zhou Bao, the best newspaper in the world, and she had a great plan to increase sales. However, her servant Yang Duya, who was lazier than a pig, dumber than a dog, lazy, greedy, and liked to see big breasts, had no clue and could not catch any inspiration from the smart and noble princess. Wu Mingyu became more and more excited as she wrote, and she felt that her literary ideas were flowing like a spring, and she wrote like a god. The corners of her rosy lips curled up, and her beautiful eyes like black pearls showed unprecedented joy. You, I'll keep you in suspense. This princess will write you to death. After a while, Wu Mingyu put down her pen. Her fair and tender face was rosy and she was in high spirits. Wu Mingyu raised her delicate nose, hummed a little tune, and put the booklet on the bedside cabinet. Because of the influence of Yang Yi's, Dream of Red Mansions, and Romance of the West Chamber. The princess, who was in her youth, was also very curious about the world in the novel, so she began to try to create. Ha, let this fool be a supporting role as my servant. Wu Mingyu couldn't help but throw herself on the bed and laughed without any image. Even her skirt was lifted to her thighs, but she didn't care at all. A Chu, Yang Yi, who had just returned to the mansion, couldn't help but sneeze and muttered a little. Could it be that I didn't cover the quilt enough last night and caught a cold? A servant came in and said respectfully, Master, the shed you asked me to build last time is ready. Do you want to go and see it? Yang Yi's eyes lit up and he said without hesitation. Come on, take me to see it. After a while, he came to a farm. This is the farm that Yang Yi rented. The tenants in the farm all worked for him. He planted all the rewards drawn by the system last time, such as sweet potatoes, corn, peppers, cotton, and many fruits, and also had people build a vegetable greenhouse. Once this thing is built, it can be used to harvest off-season fruits and improve the quality of life. Yang Yi looked around. The greenhouses that looked like transparent tents looked pleasing to the eye. These films are of course not made with the current technical level, but are given by the system when the vegetable greenhouse manufacturing technology was drawn. There are only 10 companies in the world. Yang Yi nodded with satisfaction and praised the tenants who followed him, making them feel flattered. The next day, Yang Yi got up early again and ran to the Qianyuan Hall of the Empress. Half an hour later, you mean, this so-called gunpowder has the effect of splitting mountains and cracking rocks? Wu Yan looked at the stack of papers Yang Yi presented in amazement. On the papers were written some terms that she could not understand at all in a very calibrated pattern. Yang Yi said sternly, Your Majesty, when have I ever been alarmist? 
Wu Zhao thought so. This guy seems to be more cruel than he says. Her eyes turned slightly. You want to apply gunpowder to the army? Yang Yi nodded slightly. That's right, your majesty. Once this gunpowder is born, it will definitely have the power to change the situation of all countries. It can even create the foundation for the unification of the world for the great Zhou. Quote. Wu Zhao was startled and looked at Yang Yi in surprise. She didn't expect the gunpowder Yang Yi mentioned was so powerful. If it is really as powerful as Yang Yi said, then wouldn't she have the hope of conquering the world? Thinking of this, Wu Zhao's heart beat violently a few times. The countries in the world coexist in the Central Plains, which is an unprecedented era of great contention. Any ambitious emperor, who doesn't want to be the eternal wise monarch who ends the countries and completes the unification of the world. Her Majesty suppressed the waves in her heart and pondered for a moment. I will let people transfer funds to complete this gunpowder. But you are still responsible for this matter, and you must not let others know. If it is really as powerful as Yang Yi said, then this gunpowder can be listed as the top secret of the great Zhou. Except Yang Yi, she can't trust anyone. Yang Yi blinked. Yes, your majesty. Quote, her majesty pursed her lips, her black and white eyes shone with a slight luster. She said calmly, how have you been getting along with San Yang recently? Yang Yi was stunned. He didn't expect that her majesty would suddenly ask such a question, which made him suddenly unable to understand. He pondered for a moment. I, your humble servant, jointly founded a newspaper with Her Royal Highness the Princess. Her Royal Highness the Princess is very diligent, and the sales of Da Zhou Bao are very high. Quote. Wu Zhao glanced at Yang Yi thoughtfully. This was obviously not what she meant by the question. But Yang Yi seemed to be playing dumb with her and answered irrelevant questions. The Empress was neither happy nor sad, but her heart was a little complicated. Hearing that Yang Yi did not respond directly to the relationship with Wu Sanyang, she could not tell what she felt in her heart, and she did not know whether she was happy, dissatisfied, or both. For the first time, the wise and mature empress could not figure out what she really thought in her heart. As a sister, she hoped that Wu Mingyu could marry a good family, and Yang Yi was obviously a good choice. But if she saw how well the two of them got along, she felt a little bitter in her heart. She even did not know why she asked the question just now. The Empress did not speak, and Yang Yi certainly would not say anything on his own initiative. Both the monarch and his ministers fell silent, and the palace suddenly became quiet. Shang Wan Waner walked in quietly and said respectfully, Your Majesty, the Qing people sent someone to deliver Qianlong's letter. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.